beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Mention. This roaming around of believers without knowing the jurisdiction of your spiritual relevance is dangerous because Satan can also mimic God and carry you somewhere that the equipping, the wiring, the spiritual configuration within you should not, it does not allow you to be there. And so they carry you and you die because you want to prophesy. Are we together now? Because the word of God did not give you the balance and the proper allocation. Your ego allocated you to a dimension you don't have grace for. Every prophecy you lied. Every prophetic command never came to pass. And you find out you are frustrated. And you stand and say, Lord, what am I doing with my life? I commend you to God and to the word of his grace which is able to build you egg, lava, pupa, adult and then when you are now mature to give you a space are you getting what I'm saying now? an allocation yes you are a medical doctor but I give you a space that you will carry the healing anointing to the nations you may be a doctor professionally but your destiny demands that you are working in this. How you know you are making progress in the spirit is that somewhere along the lines of your experience, you begin to see these spiritual allocations. You can know. God, where are you taking me to? Just follow. It first starts as a general prayer. It first starts as just studying the word of God to know him. Let me tell you, there is nobody that God puts ministry consciousness in him before he calls him. That's wrong training. The, you start on a neutral ground. Lord, I love you. I need your presence. I need your glory. Not I need a church. Not I need a title. Not I need a PA. Not Lord, I've suffered in this family. Won't I be rich? No, sir. God does not define the geography of men's assignments first. He allows them to begin to seek him on a neutral ground. And then on, on grounds of their faithfulness, when their hearts are locked to him, then the spiritual jurisdiction of their assignment, he starts to allocate it. And many times, depending on the jurisdiction, there are jurisdictions that will necessitate that you touch other dimensions before finally getting there. So God is calling you into an apostolic ministry, but you will start as an evangelist. For two years, you will be an evangelist. And then you will switch and be a teacher. And then you will be like a missionary. The final destination is here. By the time you build a camp there, I am evangelist Emeka. By the time that apostolic grace is coming, you will cause confusion. Because you are among evangelists, but they know that what you are doing is not evangelism. And you will start teaching based on your experience. And you will start saying the rest are wrong. Whereas it was your staying power in the training to allow you to get to the final destination. 
Please place value on the word of God. Place value on the not just the reading of the word. You have been reading it. Place value on its ability to give you something in life. Look, let me tell you this. If I am your physical father and I have a little estate and you are waiting for me to die so that they can they can share the um, what they call it get the death benefit and share the money listen to what I'm trying to say the physical land and the territory you have can be seized by the government as simple as that they just say we need it and we will think of what to do another government will say it was not me the past government has gone and never will come forever but when God gives you a spiritual inheritance no man no tribe they may hate you but my brothers and my sisters when a key is given to you the key is given in a way and a manner that God will cause nations to pass through that door it's impossible to ignore you these are the truths I have found there is rest when you find this all this fear up and down how will my future be will i be great will i eat will my children eat those questions were designed to be answered naturally when you follow the pace of god's training there are many questions we ask now they are questions because we are jumping classes if you stay with god there are some questions you will not need to ask believe me the kind of questions you ask will tell you what kind of student you are when you are a proper student, the responsibility of the Spirit of God, no, they're, they're, you won't even know when you enter certain dimensions that others are praying for because your heart is with Him and you are saying, Lord, guide me, curriculum after curriculum. No rushing, no comparison, I stay with you. Five years, others have moved forward they have jobs and they have this and you are moving around like a thief across the earth and say lord what am i god say you you are my son at least know that one for now even if you don't know what i called you to do behold what manner of love what what is greater than that one lord help me who am i i'm moving around like cain and god says don't let the devil cheat you just walk with me and in one year god will look at you and establish you with a grace and people will look at you and say ah, ah, I used to know Pastor Femi unfortunately you used to know him that he must died died in training and resurrected with another life the son of man in power and glory he passed through a doorway in the spirit called Galatians 2.20 now he has come out with a new light a new grace are we learning something already God bless you. Bless you guys. Thank you. We must have passion for the word of God. I will touch a bit on something that I thought I would have the allowance to preach this year. In fact, when the Lord put this in my heart, I said, oh Lord, but I've cried to you again and again to allow me to preach this. And... Um, I honestly thought we'll be able to have the series um, but maybe tonight I may just do a little introduction on it um, it's very powerful very powerful Kai. God thank you thank you There are things when you find in this kingdom. Please listen to me. There are things when you find in this kingdom. God, hell, and men will know you found something. There are things when you find only God will know you found it. There are things when you find only men will know. But there are things when you find God, men, hell, will know by, by his grace you have been given something and this is what i'm guiding you to understand do you know what i'm doing to you i'm reconstructing your understanding about god and the correct approach to life now you may not see the value in what you are receiving now
but my brothers and my sisters give god time and be patient with yourself and watch the wonder that you become so tonight i will just do an introduction of it true riches just an introduction it's not part one we have a series next we'll, 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 we'll transfer it to next year but and and don't think i'm talking about money at all settle down and listen and let god bless you because when we hear riches the first thing we think about because of the way i don't know if it's the way our country is, is going all the way you know once people just hear riches a lot of people are very happy this is a very spiritual teaching in fact riches is really spiritual luke chapter 16 and verse 11 luke chapter 16 and verse 11 read with me believers one two read ah that's not you be delivered from let's read one more time one to read uh-huh hold on it's a question who will commit to you so this one is not an achievement people commit it to you listen who will commit to your trust the true riches unfaithful mammon the word unfaithful suggests instability is that true something that is not reliable and it says that if you are not faithful with the, in your righteous mammon who will commit to your trust when i saw this scripture it blessed and changed my life who will commit to your trust true riches there's something in this kingdom called true riches and the bible says that the basis for access to it among other things is faithfulness listen very carefully and then that this dimension of spiritual blessings that the bible calls true riches is a commitment meaning that god observes and sees your faithfulness listen carefully he can allow you to do whatever it is that you're doing but whilst you're doing it he's observing you and that you get to a point where you pass that spiritual test and like a report card god calls you and says i give you something called true riches and he says that if you are unfaithful with unrighteous mammon who will commit to you that means aside from god who else has that access he's not just trying to tell you the, he's saying who else who else can commit to you this mystery that we call true riches thank you ephesians chapter 3 we'll read from verse 2 to 8 listen very carefully and you understand something powerful tonight paul is speaking now if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of god which is given me to you word verse 3 how that by revelation listen he made known unto me what the mystery by revelation he made known i didn't search it out he brought it and gave it to me as i wrote a four in few words we are reading to verse eight verse four whereby when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of christ five which in other ages was not made known to the sons of men as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the spirit six that the gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in christ by the gospel seven wherefore i was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of god given to me by the effectual working of his power eight <laughs> listen it says unto me paul now paul is looking at the excellency of what he has found and saying lord 
do I deserve this? Listen, it says, Unto me who am less than the least of all the saints, is this grace. So it's a grace. Is this grace given? What is the grace? That I should preach among the Gentiles. Help me. The unsearchable riches. Not just the gospel. That I should preach the unsearchable unfathomable riches look at the description that is used there he didn't say that i should preach the gospel that i should preach they, they are mysteries the bible says there is a grace that this grace can operate in a man and grant him uncommon understanding to these mysteries that the bible calls the unsearchable riches of christ these are very deep spiritual things. Listen. And these are the spiritual blessings by which the dominion of the saints is established upon the earth. That the dominion of the saints is not just established because all things have, you know, you have dominion. No, no. Prophetically, the dominion of the church has been established. But in experience, we are yet to come into the fullness of that understanding. Paul was speaking to the church, the Hebrew church, and he told them, he says, he was quoting some, some eight, you know, that you have put all things under his feet and all of that. And he says, but we do not yet see all things. The unsearchable riches of Christ. What is it? If I ask you, define for me, because this is in the Bible. This is the Pauline epistle. What is the unsearchable riches of Christ? Money? Business, Naira and Kobo, no, sir. May God open your eyes. It is an introduction tonight, but may God open your eyes to see it. My brothers and my sisters, these are the commanders of dominion. These are the systems allocated for the dominion of the saints. The Bible calls it true riches. That man, there is a grace that God, by observation, seeing your faithfulness, this one you can never find it it's not just by fasting and praying it's not just by reading a book god comes to you as a reward for faithfulness and grants you a grace that opens you up to a mystery called the unsearchable riches of christ this is what the bible calls true riches what is it that's why Paul Paul was remember Paul said I thank my God I pray in tongues more than ye all so Paul would be lying if he told us he was spiritually lazy that man was very diligent in the spirit and when it came to this description Paul was even broken seeing the level and the gravity of the spiritual investment made upon his life he acknowledged that unto me who am less than the least of the saints was this grace given that I should be the custodian to release this unsearchable mystery to the body. Until Paul came, no man had seen it. Not even the eye of those who walked with Jesus. They walked with Jesus. They saw many spiritual things, but their eyes could not see this dimension. And that's why Paul said, I didn't see him in the flesh. I was, I was, I was a murderer out somewhere. When Jesus was, I was not even part of the seventy. And God just picked a young man on his way to Damascus. A donkey falls down. He knocks me and calls me and says, I want to give you, I want to allocate space for you in this dispensation that you are mandated to be the custodian, the dispenser. That's why he started by saying, look, when my teachings are hard, don't criticize me. There is a grace. I received it. God came to me by revelation and opened up to me this thing. And he calls the name, the caption of it is the unsearchable riches of Christ. I have cried and cried and told the Lord to take away useless knowledge from my life. That means profitless knowledge, both for me and for the saints. That God will grant me access to light and truths that are useful to help men and help my generation first to know him.
and then to be able to walk in the experience of his life it's been my prayer it still is my prayer and so when the lord opened me up to this i was so blessed let me tell you sincerely and and god is my witness and i tell you this i'm a i'm a student i'm not ashamed when i learn things from people and i build you know i'm not i'm not somebody who is is, is, is arrogant to say all this and that I ha, i'm a product of many 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 spiritual minds but when it came to these dealings the way i look at you is the same way god was opening me up to the world see this this is the key the mystery that connects to this and many times when i listen to people fathers of faith and i hear them teach i say god this is what you were telling me I say because i'm the one who told them to not everything in your life will come by studies i'm not teaching you to be lazy but we're teaching we're teaching this is this is this is a school of the spirit not everything in your life will come by studies and lecture my brothers and my sisters there are different ways god imparts knowledge to us one of it is through the stillness of your spirit be still and know that i am god and one of it is access revelation spiritual illumination god just comes to you and grants you access there are things i know today i don't know how i got it the same way you receive a prophetic word i just know that this came to me what are these unsearchable riches right these are the spiritual blessings that provide an advantage for the believer to reign on the earth. These spiritual blessings, these unsearchable riches, what you call true riches, they are spiritual blessings that provide an advantage for the believer to reign on the earth and manifest the reality of God's life here and now. The spiritual blessings that provide an advantage there has to be a system in our dealings with God where we stand at an edge where we sustain an advantage it is not it is not something hidden that life is harsh my brothers and my sisters listen to me it is no secret that ministry without a spiritual advantage is simply a human pursuit of frustration men are not that kind to allow you excel without the assistance of the spirit realm mm -mm. from tribal sentiments to the gates of hell and their manipulations etc etc everything looks like it's against you you only rise and reign in life to the degree to which you sustain a spiritual advantage are we together now yes um come come doctor if you ask us to push ourselves and he's standing here he's already in a vulnerable position and then you provide a system of support and i'm standing here and someone is holding me these things are my advantage is that true now even if he's stronger than me if he tries to push me on the strength of these factors you see that i will get a dimension of results that is unfair because that's not the true reflection of my capability i have trusted systems that have provided an advantage and the bible tells us that these unsearchable riches they were designed by god as a proof of his love and his determination to see that the saints reign so he put together these systems so that by them we can stand strong and shout at the gates of hell and know that there is a spiritual fortification it is ultimately god that gives us victory my brothers and my sisters but the victory is broken into systems so you can know that god has given you victory and not understand the systems he provided and you find out that your life consistently continues to be a disadvantage 
Are we together now? Bless you. Thank you. So true riches I define as spiritual blessings that provide an advantage for the believer to reign on the earth and to manifest the reality of God's life here and now. We're just doing an introduction. Romans chapter 5 and verse 17. The Bible says that they which have received the abundance of grace. Everybody say the abundance of grace. The abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness. It says they shall reign in life. They shall reign in life. They shall reign in life. This is what validates the fact that we are kings. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 9 to 10. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 9 to 10. And they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed them should be. It's a mistake there. Because these are the four and twenty elders. Redemption was not for them. So they are speaking over the saints. So the word us there is a mistake in translation. Redeem them to God by thy blood. Out of every kindred. Listen now. Every tongue, every people, every nation. Verse 10. And has made us. Now them you understand. And has made us unto our God. What? Kings and priests. And the Bible says, and we shall reign. Where? On earth. So God's dominion agenda is real. He wants us to reign. He wants us to manifest a dimension of the multifaceted possibilities that are resident in the Christ. Now I hope you understand, let's, let's refresh ourselves with redemption realities, that Jesus Christ came and said, I am the way, the truth and the life. Then he says that no man cometh to the Father except by me. Is that true? So Jesus is the door to the kingdom. He is the only, not even just many, he is the only valid access point into the life of the Spirit. You can manipulate through all that routes into a life of spiritism. But if you want to access the kingdom life, Jesus is the authorized channel, not even an angel. Are we together now? And then the Bible lets us know that the, the, the system that makes for salvation, Romans chapter 8, when you, 10, when you read from verse 8 to 10, you know, the Bible says that you confess with your heart the Lord Jesus, you believe, you will mouth the Lord Jesus, you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you are saved. The moment you get born again, watch this. What does it mean to be saved, as it were? To receive new life. Very simple. The Bible says that there is a translation. But much more than a translation, the Bible lets us know that this divine life, the life we call Zoe, known by men as eternal life, but it's more than eternal life. It is God's life, a quality, not the kind, the very life of God. Are we together now? The Bible says by the ministry of the Holy Spirit that that life is supplanted we are refreshing ourselves now upon the human spirit so that he that becomes joined to Christ now becomes one spirit. It's a mystery known in ancient times as the salt covenant. Where two people wanting to enter an inseparable relationship bring salt. All of them bring samples of their salt and they mix it together. The condition for separation is that everyone must pick his salt. Are you seeing that now? Yes. Another example I've taught you is called the doctrine of interpenetration. This is the mystery of marriage. The mystery by which two people become one. Right? So, a separate entity called a man. Another separate entity called a woman. By covenant, they become one. One, not physically, but one in the spirit. Recognized by God himself. Are we together now? That's why the Bible says, let no man do asunder. It put asunder. It's a warning because there are implications in the realm of the spirit. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So man receives of that life, Zoe, the spirit of God. And then 
among the many things that are that happen to man is that your capacity to now begin to comprehend spiritual things is quickened still by the ministry of the holy spirit and then the operation of the word the logos and the operation of the spirit of god begin in your life you begin to learn the ways of god and then the word of god begins to wash you huh? like you wash a cloth begins to purify your conscience and then your mind is educated again the light is driving out that darkness and gradually gradually by all those exercises conformity and transformation not impartation yet conformity and transformation these things will remain for a very long time in your life and then you begin to see the grace speaking are we together now because grace and peace is multiplied through knowledge so it's a laborious assignment because not everything in your mind is of the devil there are things that are correct so god will not reset your mind and then he will do that only with your permission so it's possible to be transformed one degree in 10 years that's how slow you wanted god to take you are we together now so you find out that after 10 years the level of results that should accrue to a life that was diligent with god is not showing in your life god is limited by your yieldedness limited by your alignment this is what now begins to separate believers into different cadres. and then of course now you bring the issue of the election of grace people who by his predeterminate counsel he has called into certain offices and dimensions usually god will do an unusual work in them are we together now a work many times that is more than their personal yieldedness that's why they can't take credit for it it was an acceleration that came because of the assignment they are to provide so they enter dimensions of the prophetic way before they start understanding what prophecy is the only thing they have to do is correct their errors not pray for new visions they have been seeing it since it's just that they have been interpreting nonsense so what they are repenting of is not it's not it's not a hazy vision there are people who even they got born again and there and then they started seeing visions there and then others came from priesthood a wrong key forced the door to, you, you understand what i mean a wrong key of spiritism and tradition opened a wrong door i hope you know that if you meet a native doctor and he opens your eyes even when you get born again the eyes will not close again it's been opened hmm. the only thing is you will hand over the lordship of that sight to god are you getting what i'm saying now because there is a spirit that becomes the gateway of your access uh, believers are you learning something yes to you it looks like you are just seeing visions no there is a spirit that grants you access to that gateway and there is an exchange that happens that you are not aware for being granted access to see things in the spirit and you are routing by a wrong door you will not know because it's subtle after 10 years you find out that your soul has truly been sold to the devil are we together now so when you get born again it's true that your eyes were open with the charm you will stop seeing the demons that oppressed you but the realm of the spirit is already open to you it's true systems of advantage that believers can access and god can grant them grace maybe let me just touch on two or three of them at least we'll, we'll still do them next year the unsearchable riches these are the things that when i look at in my life sometimes i just get down on my knees and i say god thank you thank you you don't owe me anything you have been faithful i found them and they are very powerful can i give you the first one the first of these true riches this mystery is called the goodness of god the goodness of god what is this you will know now that it is that grace that is released on you if this grace is not present you cannot have conscience it is the goodness of god 
that is responsible to plant the need for repentance in men not mercy mercy has its place the goodness everything i'm telling you i'll show you from the bible you will now see why god told moses it is my goodness i will allow you to see my goodness the goodness of god allows for conviction of wrongs and repentance but the goodness of god also allows for continual repentance the word repent is not for sinners i've told you this it's not a word that is just left for sinners it's a kingdom expression a system of consistent realignment to a greater dimension of god's glory it's called repentance let's look at a very serious scripture romans chapter 2 verse 1 to 4 just write it down and let's read we're bible students romans 2 one to four ready i will tell you where to join me in the reading therefore thou art inexcusable O man whosoever thou art that judgest listen now carefully he's talking about judgment for wherein thou judgest another thou condemnest thyself for thou that judges does the same things too but we are sure that the judgment of god is according to truth against them which commit such things three and thinkest thou this O man that judges them which do such things and doest the same that thou shall escape the judgment of god now look at verse 4 read with me please or despised thou the what riches hold on stop let's not rush despised thou the remember we're talking of true riches we're fishing them out now that there is something called the riches of his goodness what does it do and forbearance and long suffering not knowing that the goodness of god leaded thee to repentance if you ever repent it is the goodness of god that came to you it's not something you did by your strength to say oh i think I... no the the fortitude to realize the need for alignment is proof that god has been good to you this is the bible it says it is one of the two riches given to the saints the riches of god's goodness hmm. are we still together tonight did you know that the riches of god or the goodness of god is one of the true riches of the kingdom many people just ah oh god when the bible says surely goodness we quote it every time surely goodness and mercy as if we are singing a special number this is a very deep mystery if the goodness of god does not go with you i will tell you i will show you people from the bible the state of a man who has not been granted access to these riches you will see what happens when god looks at people jesus looks and says you are poor in spirit that they are bankrupt he knew what he was saying they had food in their houses but there were certain attributes of the the advantage of god given to the saints it's not there in their life let me show you first timothy chapter 4 and verse 2 this is a portrait of men who have not been granted access to the riches of god's goodness read with me one to read speaking lies in hypocrisy uh-huh having their conscience seared with a hot iron do you know what this means that means you have lost the ability to recognize this is what happens to a man who can carry a knife and tear a pregnant woman bring out a child and kill the person and by the next day he's moving and smiling let me tell you what that person needs is not revival what that person needs is not even mercy what that person needs is the goodness one of the two riches sent like an errand once the goodness of god meets that person he breaks down immediately true riches the unsearchable riches of christ so god looks at men and sends his goodness to them and all of a sudden you see men translating from level to level and they do not know what spiritual mystery is responsible for it keep that scripture again please romans 2 and verse 4 the riches of his goodness not just his goodness the riches the wealth 
you see that a man who had this was David. David knew the goodness of God. That's why he became a man after God's heart. Lucifer didn't have this. If Lucy, no, no demon has this. Lucifer was not given the privilege of accessing the goodness of God. So repentance is in it. It's not that he doesn't want to do it. Has he not been watching believers get born again in crusade grounds? Why didn't he say, God, I've watched this thing for a long time. Let's talk. You are my creator. No, it is the goodness of God that allows men to ever see the need for repentance. Evangelists pray for this if you are going for crusades. Don't just pray for signs. Oh God, let them know I was called. Mm -mm. Pray intelligently. Lord, let there be a supply of the riches of your goodness and you will watch the wonder. This is what happens in redemption camp. When Papa Ia Deboe preaches a simple message and says, I will count one to five. One. And you see people run. They don't even know what is bringing them out. This is what the generals had. Charles G. Finney. Are we together now? They had this in, in very abundant measures. They understood this wealth of the kingdom called the goodness of God. When we say the goodness of God, we just mean his ability to be benevolent. It's more than that. The primary assignment of the goodness of God is to create awareness of the need to realign so that we become better reflectors of his glory. The Bible calls it his goodness. Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 9. Is somebody learning something tonight? It says, who shall commit to you? If God opens your eyes and you see it and engage it, then your life will change. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness. But is long suffering to us what? Not willing that any man perish, but that all should come to repentance. This is God's willingness. So he sees our family members and he already knows that the way they are going, their lives can never reflect God and then his goodness. Some of you, it was the goodness of God that brought you here to Koinonia, not invitation. It was the goodness of God that gave you access to the teachings because God designed that you come to repentance first of salvation and then consistently realigning your life and then you see the beauty and the glory of god come out of your life say the unsearchable riches of christ hmm. let's try another So the goodness of God is an advantage in my life. An advantage. An advantage. What is the advantage? Causing me to consistently realign. So that I get to a point where my light becomes like the brightness of the sun. And people say, ah, ah what happened? And you say, God has been good to me. Now, the carnal man would think what you are saying is, God gave me favor. You understand what I'm saying? Or God made a helper. Or like our dear sister shared... God made somebody to give me miracle a lot. That's true. But what really happened was that he caused you to repent, to align, so that his glory can better find expression in your life. The riches of his goodness. The next time you see stubborn and rebellious people in your house, the key is not counseling. The key is intercession for a solid encounter with the goodness of God I, I got to hear a very touching testimony of some of these are young people who are very stubborn and the family collected a loan trusting God to help them to start a life and the, the young boy and his friend true story they went to carry the car of the the car of the the friend's father you know all these boys that carry cars just to explore their their whatever it is and this one would drive and park and give this one to drive and park they were changing 
and then when it was the turn you see how the devil you see when the goodness of him it was now the turn of the young boy who came from a poor family whose parents now collected loan thinking it will help them start life and the young boy it was his turn he was driving a car of his friend's father and there came a big truck it was a miracle that the boy survived and the family said i'm not hearing anything just get my car and bring for me that was how they had to look for I, these are people like counsel they had to add an extra look for money because it got to the police station and all of that you see that kind of thing and you will see the boy he will pass as if he gave his parents a word for taking first the goodness of god is not there that sense of remorse he has put the family in in trouble that it would take the prophetic to bring them out not business this one you can't come out just by business acumen it's going to take god to come and lift you out and yet you see the boys moving around and i was just looking at him and he was looking around no remorse look at armed robbers that kill people in the night and by the next morning they pass the same house they rob and you see them smiling during crisis the people that kill people do they die suddenly they are alive they pass a house that they know i'm the reason for the obituary in this house and then they pass and laugh they have not encountered the goodness of god let me tell you it's not good to see somebody who has not partaken of the grace of the goodness of God. They are the people we call heartless, conscienceless, like some of the corrupt people that steal the money of Nigerians. This is what they need. Are we together now? Number two. Proverbs chapter 5, chapter 4, from 5 to 9. The second of the unsearchable riches is wisdom. Don't assume you know what I'm teaching. Just listen. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 5. 1, 2, read. Question, where? Get pure water. Where? Um, shop. Are we together? Get pounded yam and soup. Where? Restaurant. Get injection for malaria. Where? Hospital. Get wisdom. Where? It's not that I don't want to get it. Where is it? Where do they find it? It says, get wisdom. Then get understanding. They go together. All through scripture. You see this. Now, um, next year I'm going to be teaching you spiritual operations. And one of it will be how spirits work. It's, they are all dimensions of the Holy Spirit. But you will notice that there are classifications. There is an operation of the Holy Spirit that never works as a person. Do you understand? It, it must be in twin, working that way. It was the mystery that Jesus used in sending the disciples. He sent them two by two. Never sent them one. Everywhere you see wisdom, from Genesis to Revelation, you will see understanding going with them. And then sometimes they can form a tag team, knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Three of them. A threefold cord. That whoever stands in the middle, it's only God that can take him out. When you stand in the middle of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, a fortification has been built that nothing designed by man can break that defense. Stronger than the wall of Jericho. It says, get wisdom, get understanding. Forget it not. We're reading to verse 9. Listen carefully. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Uh -huh. Forsake her not. The Bible personifies wisdom. And she shall preserve thee. Love her. And she shall keep thee. Seven. Wisdom is the principal thing. It says, therefore get wisdom. And with all thy getting. See it now again. Get understanding. Now see the benefits. Exalt her. 
and she shall promote thee she shall bring thee to honor you know what honor is causing men to discern acknowledge and celebrate your relevance the bible says wisdom is in the office of wisdom to bring honor to men when thou dost embrace her last verse it says she shall give to thy head an ornament of grace you said you are a king but where is your crown wisdom is the holder of the crown it says she shall give a crown of glory it is through wisdom we find glory a king without a crown is not a king in ancient times when they defeated cities they not only removed the crown of the king they removed his whole head and walked with it back to their city a a symbol the moment the king was captured and his head taken nobody fights again the battle was over and now the bible says that the wisdom shall give you a crown of glory I can say I am a king but where is my crown that there is a spiritual blessing that holds the crown of those who will reign in this life and the Bible says it is called wisdom Proverbs chapter 8 is going to be a long reading be patient with me be patient with me I want us to pray tonight these are the systems that will make your life worth living will make your life meaningful by every standard proverbs chapter 8 doth not wisdom cry look at how merciful god is to the extent that wisdom now goes around looking the bible says wisdom is crying crying because of the foolishness of men and what their lives are becoming as a result of lack of accessing her it says an understanding are you seeing them together Wisdom is crying, understanding is adding her voice. Next verse. Reading to the end. Two. She standeth in the top of high places by the way, in the places of the paths. Three. Let's hurry up. She cried at the gates, the place of exchange, where men enter and go out. Wisdom says, don't pass without me. Don't return without me. At the entry of the city, at the coming it at the doors for unto you O men i call wisdom is speaking and my voice is to the sons of man O ye simple simple there does not mean humble simple means unwise meaning there is there is no fortitude for comprehension it says understand wisdom and ye fools be of an understanding heart hear for i will speak excellent things and the opening of my lips shall be right things seven for my mouth shall speak truth and wickedness is an abomination to my lips eight all the words of my mouth are in righteousness and there is nothing forward and perverse in them they are all plain to him that understandeth and right to them that find knowledge receive my instruction and not silver hold on if i give you wisdom and i give you silver wisdom says please don't be foolish to choose silver leave silver fast and come to me and knowledge rather than choice gold for wisdom is better than rubies two things the bible says are better than rubies one wisdom to a virtuous woman and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it uh-huh i wisdom dwell with prudence and find out the knowledge of witty inventions i hope we have the grace to continue the fear of the lord is to hate evil pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do i hate counsel is mine and sound wisdom i am understanding i have strength please read by the spirit this is what i want you to do. now wisdom is giving you a manifesto like a gentleman trying to ask a lady out and he's trying to convince her and give her reasons to say yes to him and he's saying by me kings reign if you see any king reigning on earth this is what enthroned him wisdom you see any king reigning in business in ministry it's not just god wisdom 
by me kings reign and princes decree justice 16 by me princes rule and nobles even all the judges of the earth i love them that love me and those who seek me early will find me that means it's not cheap to find wisdom he gives you a time to seek riches and honor you see why he said you should not choose silver because riches and honor are with me yea durable riches and righteousness my fruit is better than gold yea than fine gold and my revenue than choice silver i lead in the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of judgment will soon be there that i may cause those that love me to inherit talk to me i cause those who love me to inherit substance there is not money substance there is results tangibility i will fill their treasures go ahead the lord possessed me so this is how creation happened through wisdom a house is built wisdom is saying the lord possessed me in the beginning of his way before his works of old next verse i was set up from everlasting from the beginning or ever the earth was when there was no depths i was brought forth when there were no fountains abounding with water before the mountains were settled before the hills was i brought forth while as yet he had not made the earth nor the fields nor the highest part of the dust of the world when he prepared the heavens i was there when he set a compass upon the face of the depth when he established the clouds above when he strengthened the fountains of the deep when he gave the sea his decree that the waters should not pass his commandment when he appointed the foundations of the earth three more verses or two then i was by him ah. as one brought up with him and i was daily his delight rejoicing always before him rejoicing in the habitable parts of the earth and my delight were with the sons of men last verse now therefore unto me O ye children hearken to me O ye children for blessed are they that keep my ways wisdom one of the unsearchable riches that people can possess wisdom and he's saying even god used me for his results that means you are not going to be able to produce any kind and any dimension of result without wisdom what is wisdom the ability to correctly engage the mysteries of the kingdom not the knowledge of it not the comprehension of it the ability to correctly engage the mysteries of the kingdom is called wisdom what is wisdom the ability to use the word to produce supernatural results that's wisdom my brothers and my sisters i can show you scriptures upon scripture we are doing an introduction today supernatural wisdom that happened to men they rose on account of that wisdom let's look at one scripture first kings chapter 3 solomon god's portrait of wisdom you see that every once and again these men obtain one or more of these attributes and that's what they used to do business in the earth realm and they they dumbfounded the wisdom of men first kings chapter 3 and verse 9 we're reading to verse 13 from verse 9 solomon is praying now god is asking him what should i do and he says give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people that i may discern between good and bad 
for who is able to judge this thy so great a people verse 10 and the speech pleased the lord that solomon had asked this thing to 13 and god said to him because thou hast asked this thing and hast not asked for thyself what long life neither hast thou asked here it is again unfaithful mammon riches for thyself nor hast thou asked the life of thy enemies but thou hast asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment 12 behold i have done according to thy words let's see what god gave him i have given 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 i have given thee a wise and an understanding heart so that there was none like thee before thee neither after thee shall rise on any unto thee i have also given thee that which thou hast not asked both riches and honor so that there shall not be any among the kings you see that every time kings were there wisdom understanding go to chapter 4 from verse 29 go to chapter 4 and verse 29 chapter 4 first kings and verse 29 read with me please one to read and god gave go ahead solomon wisdom uh -huh, and understanding exceeding much and largeness of heart even as the sun that is on the seashore the manifesto the attributes of all this spiritual blessing next verse and solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the east country and all the wisdom of egypt uh-huh for he was wiser than all men than ethan the ezrahite than heman than Kalkol, than dada all these guys are champions of wisdom they were noted for walking in strange dimensions of wisdom and his fame was in all nations round about 32 for he spake three thousand proverbs and his songs were a thousand and five worship team you see how songs come an encounter with the spirit of wisdom believe me one song that will cause the nations to bless you have you not seen that music artists write songs out of 50 they are like two three you know this is not human you know it by the way it lasts anything that is human has the characteristic of fading the moment time has no power over it it came from the realm of the spirit there are songs that were written when we were born and we are still singing it there were songs that were written last month we are tired of it it tells you the dimension it's not that there, there's something wrong with the song the dimension from which the song came if it is that which is of the earth is earthy that which is of heaven is heavenly 33 and he spake of trees from the cedar tree that is in lebanon even unto the high soap that springeth out of the wall he spake a lot he spake also of beasts and of fowls and of creeping things and fish i think there's one more verse and there came of all people to hear the wisdom of solomon from all kings of the earth does this look like gentiles shall come to thy light and they are kings to the brightness of your rising meaning there is what a man can possess my brothers and my sisters you may be in a shrine or you may be in a in a room that is made of mud blocks but kings will come when you possess what kings cannot buy they will come to you the last thing i'm going to do is to show you where wisdom stays because wisdom has a location job chapter 28 from verse 12 true riches when god wants to help a man he exposes you to the unsearchable riches of christ when you possess them you will look weak and frail my brothers and my sisters but when you begin to engage these systems of the kingdom your life becomes a wonder you see do you know why i'm taking our time to teach you these things <clears throat> so that you are not afraid of your results when you don't know the basis of the results that god gives you even that result will make you afraid 
because you are not sure of the system of defense around it are we together now but where shall wisdom be found remember i asked us a question he said get wisdom and i said where so job now the man of wisdom wisest richest job is having a conversation where shall wisdom be found and where is the place of understanding have you seen that they always go together next verse man knoweth not the price thereof neither is it found in the land of the living ah, where is the land of the living that means it's not found here it's not a commodity that is affordable in any market let no man deceive you that he knows where wisdom is found in this earth mm -mm. it cannot be found the earth does not have the capacity to produce this it can produce sophia human wisdom that is a derivative of trial and error and science but not the wisdom that comes from above the depth said it is not in me the sea said it is not with me that means all these things go back all these things are storage devices on earth they hide things the depth there are things that the depth keeps and those who know it can say bring it out that's why the prophet can stand and look at the ground and say oh earth he said let the people praise thee this earth is not barren let the people praise thee this earth will start yielding meaning that fruitfulness was hidden in the earth no wonder seed time and harvest was tied in the similitude of the principle of the earth. The earth hides fruitfulness. Water hides abundance. You read your Bible, everything, the birds of the air and everything came out of water. And so they said, the depth said it is not with me. The sea said it is not with me. Next verse. It cannot be gotten for gold. Neither shall silver be weighed for the price thereof. Uh-huh. It cannot be valued with the gold of Ophir, nor with the precious onyx, nor the sapphire. Next verse. The gold and the crystal cannot equal it, and the exchange of it shall not be for jewels of fine gold. No mention shall be made of coral or of pearls, for the price of wisdom is above rubies. The topaz of Ethiopia shall not equal it, neither shall it be valued with pure gold. Twenty whence then cometh wisdom and where is the place of understanding he listed all the choice places in the earth where we can find treasurable things and he says that wisdom is not there seeing that it is hid from the eyes of all the living and kept close from the fowls of the air destruction and death say we have heard of his fame hmm. look at this destruction and death also give testimonies that they say we have even us we are still surprised as we destroy people and kill people we have noticed that whoever possesses this mystery escapes us freely he said we have heard of the fame thereof with our ears that means destruction is a spirit not an event it's a spirit it can come upon a family and leave out its characteristics good understanding god understanded the way thereof that's a secret only god understands the way and he knoweth the place thereof hmm. no just just stop at 23 god understanded the way that means if you ever see any man with that dimension of wisdom who gave him that's why i told you it is it is a grace this is not something you walk education cannot give it no when men possess this dimension of wisdom god gave it to men is one of the unsearchable riches of christ solomon possessed it and he did wonders ordinary men have been granted access to this mystery and you can see a very young frail person but carrying something ancient that was with God at creation and wisdom is justified by her children the results show you that this is not human my prayer is that somebody will will catch a dimension of this grace the wisdom of God that you will arise with it my brothers and my sisters 
and you will see Sheba and her bounties come to you that the things that you seek will come to you of their own accord believe me Satan has deceived us to chase after things God never designed that we chase after things these are the commanders of dominion when you possess them it is impossible there is a testimony even from the realm of the spirit you don't have to plan to be great you just possess this and watch what they do to you the bible says she shall bring thee in other words i can find wisdom from a small room and wisdom says follow me like peter following an angel i step into the place of great men and i say what am i doing here and wisdom says this is where i live whoever possesses me will live with me and you will eat the bread of kings because wisdom brought you there but how many people desire the wisdom of god so many people will tell you this is an interruption there are many men of god that will not focus listen many young nigerians will not focus to listen to the wisdom of god They'll just go all these pastors you are just lucky you are anointed you are anointed that's all let me hustle my life no sir no sir except the lord builds a house they labor in vain that build it except the lord watches over a city the bible declares that the watchmen watch it but in vain he said it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow but he giveth his beloved sleep when god gives you wisdom your eyes will see things and it will surprise you what god will make out of your life no man's anger can change what the wisdom of god does in your life let me tell you this learn this early in life whether people believe in you or not it has no effect whatsoever on the forces of the spirit working in your life if you ever look at a man holding this unsearchable riches of christ your anger is just beginning you will be angry till you die it will not do anything because death is the last enemy to be destroyed so if death testifies that i've hands up then you two hands up quickly that is one of the forces that was upon a pale horse in revelation one of the four horse riders and it gives up and says no this one is above my power and above my dimension wisdom knowledge Maybe let me give us one last one. The unsearchable riches of Christ. True riches. Are you ready? <laughs> the hearing ear listen access to the voice of God is one of the mysterious riches of the kingdom the Bible says he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit say yet the spirit saith the bible says the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times are we together now some shall depart from the faith he says giving heed to seducing spirits and the doctrines of demons in the the spirit speaketh expressly that means one of the greatest you are at a point of advantage the hearing ear has nothing to do with the prophetic office it is a grace that god washes your ear with high iso so that you have the hearing ear is it not in your bible that thou shall hear a voice from behind saying this is the way why because there is a way that seemeth right if all ways were fair and right there will be no need for direction the hearing ear is a desperate prayer 
that everyone must cry unto God and say, Lord, as I'm starting ministry, give me the ear that hears. Let me tell you this. Listen. I have studied the church in Nigeria for many years. I have studied the church in Africa. I have studied men and women of God and respectfully so. I am amazed at the way people move this way when the Holy Ghost moved that way and their ministries ended overnight. Not sin, not disobedience, but that the Spirit of God is going because the anointing goes where the Spirit is going. Wherever the voice of God is, that's where His power is. So if God's voice and power is going left and you are going right, even if it's sincerely so, that's the end of it. My brothers and my sisters, let me tell you, your spiritual investment of 20 years can crash in one day if you are not given the gift of a hearing ear. You will appreciate this in years to come. The higher you rise in ministry, the more desperate you must cry. Moses said, don't send us from here. Moses was not a fool. With a rod in his hand, thy rod and thy staff, he said, no way. If you will know, I need to know you are there. Just because God said, move left yesterday, does not mean he will say, move left today. You must hear him part time. And there is a grace. I have studied this subject of hearing God properly. I can tell you, hearing God even prophets have problem with hearing God let me tell you something about hearing God the gift of prophecy the hearing that comes to prophesy is not the same hearing that comes to give you direction you can walk in accuracy I can look at your name call your number call everything and you will be surprised how stranded you will be to hear the voice of God most people don't know because many people are, are prophesying nonsense and lies. The hearing ear. I, I have a lot of friends and, and, and by God's grace I've met very powerful and accurate prophets. And you will be amazed at how stranded they are waiting for God to speak on matters in their lives. And yet the accuracy that comes from them makes you believe that oh they are just lying down. Where was the hearing of the son of the prophet who died and his wife was about to be taken? The children were about to be taken. The man was a prophet. Read your Bible and see how many prophets were stranded. Be careful. Let me tell you this. One day I will teach you how human beings spiritually are like machines i will teach you how god works with men so that just because a man is prophesying and dispensing mysteries let me tell you sincerely okay let, let's put it this way let's use midwives right have you noticed that you can see a midwife who has been giving birth helping people give birth for years and then when she is now pregnant you can be so surprised at the difficulty that she goes through. And you are wondering, madam, with this experience, right after her giving birth that almost took her life, she will display that mastery again in the hospital. Prophets cry. It's amazing how confused prophets can be. I will stand upon my watch and set myself upon the tower listen and i will hear what he will say unto me read your bible and see people who missed very vital seasons in their lives although their gifts and their graces were still there when i learned this i learned this mystery from dr dk olukoya i was listening to him some years ago and he said something he said that one of the greatest prayer you can pray is for a hearing ear and i said what is the meaning of that and you see if god helps you and you walk in a dimension of these graces you must be careful because most times we see the flamboyancy on the gift and you can join men even to deceive yourself that just because that gift that prophetic operation is at work it necessarily means you yourself are accurate it's not true 
Have you not seen people dying of infirmity and healing others? What is the mystery behind it? If, if you understand what I'm... This thing is a very deep teaching. That's why the Bible says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. One of the unsearchable riches of Christ is a grace that can be given to men that you hear the sounds of the spirit you stand and watch and say i've heard him god is saying go left and everybody is saying go right use common sense you know you had god when you move left after five years people look at you i have seen a bit of what hearing god can do this ministry today my brothers and my sisters is proof that when men get these unsearchable riches you won't go down i'm not one person who comes all the time and say god said god said i'm very careful now we have especially we young people we have abused god said anybody just comes and says god said just because you felt like god said no or just because you were under the anointing and your mouth was talking there are tongues of men there are tongues of angels there is the voice of god Are you getting what I'm saying now? This is very powerful. You must learn it. There are times when I hear God speak. Everyone around me knows God has said. The voice of God comes with the spirit of faith. If it is God that you hear, the voice of God will always come with the spirit of faith. And the spirit entered me when he spake unto me it's impossible to hear god and remain and sit down there no here and there you can think you had god and he said go to kano you can say i know i had kano but tomorrow you just turn but you know god is very faithful he will allow you he knows we are students in the school of the spirit just keep playing around but the day his majestic voice lands on your life there is no power that can stop you let me tell you god is not always speaking God speaks, but he's not always speaking. A lot of people keep saying, God is always speaking. No, sir. Are you always talking? At least you were created in his image. No. In the fifth day of the sixth month, the word of the Lord came. The word of the Lord came. The word of the Lord came. I've had occasions where God has spoken to me. And you have seen it. Even some of the messages. There are messages here that God gave me the titles. And I was, I've been surprised at how they seem to have carried an unusual grace. Because God said it. I stand here many times and I tell you this is what God is saying. And then you begin to see the strange things that he is doing. Let's be careful with this God said. Let's not reduce God to become a man now it doesn't mean that you can hear things there is the knowing of the spirit there is the witness of the spirit they all look like voices you have to be very deep in the spirit to separate between impulses and speakings they are very different just because you had a spiritual communication does not mean god spoke remember that in the realm of the spirit the voice is not the only way to speak light is a way of communicating love is a language it can speak So I can hear. That's the reason why regardless of how sure you think you are, stay for verification. When God spoke about Koinonia to start three days, we had set up the departments. God has granted us grace. I remember, if you remember that time, I was telling you God told me this and that and that. People will come from nations and people. This is what God said. I remember saying it that time. As at the time I said it, I said I saw CGC. This is not what I saw. I saw it broken, expanded. What is this that I'm seeing? I saw people standing, parking, filling the roads. And you no, know, like, as usual, every time you said God said, you need grace yourself to believe it. Because there are times that you just sit down and say, okay, now I'm calm. It's like you, you smoked, uh, 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 what they call this thing. And so you went high and... To you, you can even say, look at the nonsense that I said. And you listen to your own message and say, hey, 
it's not exactly God and God said what are you saying I'm the one speaking we were preparing to start packaging our messages I was thanking God and trusting and blessing him for the anointing he had given me and just saying oh God thank you because you are going to use our media ministry as a very major stream of income to bless the ministry and lift us and here comes the voice of God no in this season you are not going to sell your messages Facebook that time it was I mean it was even the first head of media's Facebook page and he said just carry your messages and put them on mp3 put them on Facebook don't put the videos just the audios and I will give it wings and it will go to the nations of the earth that's it my brothers and my sisters when God says sit back and watch the power that created the universe push things in your life there are things God has said listen to me there are things God has said when God talks notice that God doesn't care what you are seeing he tells you what you will do and he will do it so I stand upon my watch I'm not in a hurry to move God what are you saying in this season that's the reason why we have workers retreats that's why we have our own retreats a few weeks now I'm going to start my end of year retreat I'm telling you you don't know how excited I am at that time because many of you have gone no disturbances I just shut my phone and sometimes you need to get out of the busyness of life to hear God because there is as it were many voices many sounds and none of them is without significance the voice of house rent can interrupt what God is saying this spiritual haziness has a science the encumbrances of life can push you your child's school fees your life and God is saying fast for three days I say is it God is it a demon is it yes there are times that you check against the word of God but let me tell you there are times only God will help you because even you you don't know whether this is God again most people are not spiritual enough to get to this realm that's why they don't understand yes ago I've shared with you the story I had limited transport fare from Kaduna back to Zaria and I took initiative and I went and ate yam and beans also with the money I mean why sit here till we die remember the four lepers at least i should do one i already know that it's only god that will know how to take me back home and i believed with all my heart that i was acting by faith and i did and i stood in front of the junction near waek office in kaduna and a car just stopped and the holy spirit told me enter public transport oh. I told you the voice of God comes with the spirit of faith. It's until the act has been done. When you turn back on hindsight, you say it has to be God who led me like this. When you are passing through it, you don't see the gravity of the faith you are exerting. It's when you look back and say, eh. I entered that car. I was just in rest. Rest. You are supposed to be afraid. You know how some of these our brothers are around and all of that. Until we pass Jaji, I knew there was no hope. You know, if it's 10 naira, you don't have, or 20 naira, you can beg. But I mean, when well, well, you don't even have up to 20 or 30 percent of what is the transport fare. And then they now said, everybody bring your money. And people were bringing them. But my God is my witness. My heart was at peace this is what happens when it's god that is speaking you leave him to be responsible for the word i just obeyed and that was how someone brought out paid my transport fare i dropped at fly over here entered the bus happy because i felt at least whatever it is this one i'll pay and someone knew me in the car and paid i stopped in front of north gate with the same money i was with there it was a message God was saying, look, I am God by myself. I can do it anyhow. There are times I can send a helper to give you money. There are times I say the helper is in the car. Enter and meet him there. It doesn't matter where the helper is. Believe God enough to go. 
there are times he parts the waters there are times he says walk on it let it just be that he sees him are you hearing what i'm saying now you will need this for ministry when god sent us to go for our crusade we got up and moved like madmen what you see today my brothers and my sisters is a product of the voice of god you need the grace to hear god not grace for prophecy lord let me hear you. You, you, you you look you can pray and say god search my frail person what is the most accurate spiritual mechanism of communicating your voice to me help me in that area there are some of you that your hearing you have not trained your hearing if you if god speaks through your ears you will not hear and so you are going to say, Lord, give me a kind of dream that I will wake up and find myself standing. I will know that this one was not a dream. Let me tell you, if your heart is right, God will give you. There are dreams that no devil can tell you in your mind. Mind? How many of you have had what we call prophetic dreams? You know this one is not my mind. This is the voice of God. Unsearchable riches the hearing ear the seeing eye one time the storm was boisterous i think it was peter or paul and it was very obvious they were going to capsize and all of a sudden the hearing ear and the seeing eye an angel appears to him and speaks to him and says don't worry there shall be no loss and he calmed the people down and said, Hey, relax. An angel has appeared to me. And he has said to me that there shall be no loss. And the Bible says that the storm calmed down and they went safely and arrived an island called Melita. When you hear God, you can sit in the midst of fire and be singing. And people are saying, excuse me, sir, this is fire. You say, no, I'm sitting on the voice of God. roasting someone by your left roasting another person by your right and acting as if the fire is not seeing you sooner or later you will need this message sooner or later you will carry destinies come darling you will carry destinies that are behind you and you will need to hear god on behalf of them one day you will have children one day you will have grandchildren and that day this spiritual blessing will be tested one day you will be a man of god with a crowd of people now all of you are waiting for the prophetic word next year whether i tell lies or not you will believe it's left for me and god and if i lie you will punish me are you seeing how risky it is many of you say we are praying for you but you know you are not even serious about what you are saying because you are saying apostle <laughs> the god that called you how you have been hearing him before let him help you just make sure you hear well for us you hear wrongly as a man of god for members and see the way their lives they will obey you against god just because you are fasting for a long time does not mean that your ears will hear it's a grace like earphone god will just put that spiritual earphone and start dictating this is how 2019 will be do this do that do this do that and you say god but like like Eliab, this is good and god says that's exactly the strategy satan wants to use next year use this route and you come out and you say people we're ready to go and they look at you and say ah just like that and god says don't mind them that's always how that's how the nation of israel was that's why moses was angry because he would suffer and hear god and come and talk to them and they would doubt husband please learn to hear god for your wife and your children otherwise one day god will be saying move left and you come with your degree and masters and phd nothing wrong you move left until life changes you in one position change your wife change the destiny of your children many of us sitting down here if our parents had god you shouldn't be at this level is that true there are a number of us we are going to pray many of us we are victims of the lack of hearing many of our parents were called into ministry they ran away not hearing 
and the blessing that would have come to us if they obeyed god it would have been easy you would have been born again since four years but their disobedience now you got born again at 31 look how hard it is for you to learn the things of the kingdom the hearing ear is a grace man of god please whatever you will do with god i don't care what is not going on in your life if you can hear god hear god on who to marry hello hear god on who to marry you if god planned four children and you give birth to seven you will take care of four he supplies he supplies follow his voice i know you think i'm laughing this is how our lack of spirituality has cheated people in the world before kings went for war they would inquire of the lord is it in your bible shall we go and god will say go and give them the strategy we have lost this in our generation so we just step out and and life just beats us into nonsense what of relocating a place where you want to be domiciled in where your family will be raised in you don't hear god i've told you that when the devil wants to destroy some people he will give them visa visa to germany visa to europe just because the interview was easy doesn't mean it's god there are times that satan can give favor to kill you there used to be a guy who used to drive me years ago like maybe four five years ago he was desperate to go to germany i said what is it for i got to find out that he did one funny arranging thing where you do some kind of marriage with somebody there on contract then you come prepare papers and then fight divorce and then from there you have your papers and i don't know where that guy is now but he's a classic representation of grace to grass there are pastors that started well they kept navigating ministry well mighty men and women with anointing and then something happened in their life they didn't hear correctly or they didn't hear or they went based on the pride that results can bring no matter who you are if you trivialize the voice of god your head must touch the ground i'm telling you this it doesn't matter what level you get to in life and ministry please hear god as if you are just starting don't say because god has given me this my name is joshua selman god has given me results in ministry if you hear me talk to you like this i know what i'm saying lord should i pursue lord is this your will for me is this your will for me oh there's one conference that i have many great men and women of god some my friends around within this nation around and sometimes they have innocently felt apostle let's put forth a program let's put forth this and that and that people have come to tell me apostle what are you waiting for it's in the blueprint of the ministry to start sunday services what are you waiting for i remember one prophet of god very powerful prophet of god met me and said what are you waiting for start church and i just looked i said god bless you but this year I can't claim I hear everything, but my goodness, there are things this ear can hear. We are going to pray, and when it's time to pray, you are going to cry. If it means you laying hands on your ears to say, Lord, I am reaping the fruit of my not hearing you. It's very clear that my life is the way it is now. Because I'm not hearing you. Are we together? You need to hear God when you begin to hear multiple voices calm down none of them is god let me give you a big secret i don't care what you are trying to hear the moment you are hearing multiple voices shut down none of them is god the majesty and the jealousy of god will not allow you to hear many things his voice is mighty upon the waters when you start hearing many voices rose magdalene mary janet shut down my friend you are not hearing god just shut down lord what is the devil trying to do you are going to abuja today next tomorrow you are praying and it's like you saw the map of kano and then it's like you now saw london <clears throat> shut down lord what are you saying please hear what i'm i'm teaching you this based on the word and based on experience most people who get into trouble ignore the voice of god consciously somewhere along the journey 
this is true for marriage this is true for jobs this is true for geographic locations there are men of god that just stand up and go somewhere and just say well after all i'm, I'm a believer in christ i love the lord we are going to plant this church here and they find out they are struggling for a very long time it was bishop oyedeko that was saying how that there was a time that they started the church in ghana living faith was blossoming doing very well and they started the church in ghana and there was so much struggle after like four was it five years or six years or so the increase was not there and he was struggling everything he said he went there by himself to preach and still nothing worked and he went back and said god what is the problem and god said i am not there and he said shut it down immediately there are some of you from this message tonight you need to go and shut down a lot of things in your life because if you check it you will find out there's nothing wrong if you thought it was god you are a student in the school of the spirit oh i thought this business was god but now i'm hearing this is not god oh. i thought that it was god that said i should start the ministry i remember years ago when my well friends and all of that you know not really close friends who meet me and say apostle with the kind of grace you have start a tv ministry start this i told you about pfn when we had our first crusade pfn was willing to give me pastors and give me an auditorium to say start start a church we need you be careful not every good thing is god things don't have to be bad for you to leave them sometimes they can be good they are just not god There was a time i was preparing taking my bath years ago i had a meeting i don't know if it was in kaduna or one of these places i had prayed fasted prepared a powerful message as as i was taking my bath all of a sudden my peace i will come to that will discuss peace peace as one of the mysteries in the kingdom to bail men out the stubbornness of men will not allow them understand how the peace of God works. He said he will speak peace. Peace is a voice. Peace can warn you and say you are landing in hot water. Peace can tell you, man of God, this association you are joining is what will destroy you. It doesn't mean they are fake. It doesn't mean they are not of God. But this association is what will bring down your grace. Man of God, be careful. That's why I told you that these are the systems by which the saints dominate. So you can see that you can have a dream. And in your dream you saw a Mecca dying. But in the physical it will never happen. Because there is a mystery that shields him. The dream you saw was the intention of Satan. But there is a fortification of a mystery. You can have a dream and see Joshua Selman dying in a motor accident. And start praying and say, hey, so this is how our apostle will die. <laughs> I, I guarantee you it will remain as a dream. You don't know what is covering this man that is standing. It's not pride. Do you know how many times death has tested me? Uh, make him ma, make him ma, make him ma. Make him ma. How can I call on your name? And end up in shame No way No way How can I call on your name And end up in shame No way No way How can I bow down before you and bow to depression no way hey. no way because you are my god that's my testimony jesus the way 
says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Listen carefully. The righteous run is a location. You follow a path that leads you there. And he says if you get there, you are saved. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you. It is my passion to pray for people. I'm going to pray. And it's not just about the... There are some of you who are not sick. You just need an... End. Most of the problems here, I tell you. 90, over 80 to 90 percent of the problems here are requirements for an encounter with jesus the way the way the way there is a way to approach life such that you become victorious persistent there is a way to approach life that programs you to fail perpetually there is a way you approach life regardless of the obstacles that come you must be on top is a way which way do you not know what principle i've taught us here it has become an anthem i will burn it until it enters our spirit for every outcome you desire there is a mystery that is allocated for the production of that result people don't just become anointed man of god listen anointing does not just come because you are tired of not being anointed no favor does not just come because you think you're a nigerian Everybody who favors you has relatives who he can bless. What makes you think that he will leave them and come to you? There is a system in the kingdom that realities are allocated the mysteries. Listen, please hear me. Your ministry will not just grow because you think you are anointed. There is a system. Many people shadow box and guess their lives. Every time we are challenged, we try to apply everything we know. Okay, let's try the blood of Jesus. It didn't work. Let's try anointing oil. It didn't work. Let's try this. It didn't. Let's try agreement. There is no mystery in the kingdom that is idle. Except you do not know that, that it has been taught in a certain way. Does that not mean that's the result allocated to it? You don't give your life by praying to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one who answers. But the system of salvation is resident in the office of the Christ. You don't, you don't pray to the Holy Spirit. Although it is the Holy Spirit who comes. The system of salvation. There is no other name. The name that, that um, works out the, the salvation of men is Jesus the Christ. Are we together? You don't come to a meeting and pray and hand over the meeting to angels. Why? Although they are the ministering spirits. But the, the angels of God function as commanded by the saints in partnership with the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit does not authorize their operation, they cannot work. So there is a system. Could it be that something we are missing in our life? Could it be that although the Lord declared that this is our year of triumph, and for those of you coming for the first time could it be that the cause of hardship in our lives is because we are ignoring something everybody say jesus the way, jesus the way. there are many people here looking at me who have become victims they are good people but they do not understand god's system of friendship and so all their friends are bad people are we together and so you find out that your chances of going to prison is 80 percent although you're a good man because the bible says blessed is the man who does not stand in the way of sinners he's not a sinner but for standing in their way you qualify for implication nor sits in the seat of the scornful right it says but his delight is in the law of the lord and on that law he meditated day and night Doth he meditate day and night as a result he shall be like a tree watch this that is planted by the riverside all other trees wait for rainy season but this one has found a constant source of supply so it is ever fresh ever fresh 
How can I call on your name and end up in shame? No, no way. way. No, no way. way. I will not call on your name and end up in shame. No, no way. way. situation that brought you here has a way out that you do not know the way does not mean there is no way you know sometimes David Dam said something when he came when I came in he said something that so ministered to me we get used to our challenges we get used to the wilderness that we conclude there is no way out you can wallow in this forest of pain and confusion and conclude that your life has to be like that from begging to begging from pain to pain from beating to beating no as a family you can come together and say no more there's something we are not doing right this way is not age dependent this way is humility dependent you can be 60 years wallowing in the forest of confusion you can be 10 years and find the truth. The Bible says, and ye shall know the truth. We are getting there. But there is a path. There is a path. Number two. Jesus, the truth. Give us again, please. John chapter 14, verse 6. There is Jesus, the truth. He said, I am the truth. Let me tell you what that means. I am God's opinion on all matters. I am the most valid information that is worth trusting. I am the truth. I am God's perspective on all matters. Listen carefully. Jesus the truth is a description of God's mindset. It's a description of God's perspective. Not just the way now, but an encounter with God's perspective. Life has a way that they teach you to operate. But it says, I am God's perspective. I do not lie. There are all kinds of lying statistics in our generation. Are we together? And God says, come to me. I have a report too. Federal, this and that. International organization for this and that. Came up with their own statistics about several things. But come to me. I am the truth. I am the truth. Are we together? Yes. Oh, one out of every two marriages must end within five years. Jesus said, that's their statistics. Come, I am the truth. There is an information I supply you. Every, the average age range in Africa is 43. Jesus said, I am the truth. The truth says in old age, you will be fat and flourishing fat and flourishing not using your pension to continue living fat and flourishing there are informations that the bible gives and tells men you will never make it we live in a generation of decadence but let's look at the truth psalm 112 112 first four verses if i were you and i'm a gentleman here i will receive it to a lady receive it for it praise ye the lord Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his truth. What will be the testimony of that man? Verse 2. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. Regardless of all the armed robbers loitering around society, his own seed. Because he has believed an information. He said, who has believed our report? It is to that man that the arm of the Lord has been made. The arm of the Lord does not just come to those who desire. It's those who, there is a report you must believe. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Verse 3, wealth and riches. Not shall be in his environment, in his house. And then he says, and his righteousness endureth forever. Verse 4, unto the upright there ariseth light in darkness. Do you know what that means? Deliverance. Deliverance. A man who stands for truth. A man who understands the way of God. Somebody must arise to bail you out when things go wrong. Let me tell you. Do you know rescue is an anointing? There is a grace 
that can come upon you and cause men to arise david was in the cave of adulam they were looking for him saul was looking for him and the bible says certain men came they entered a covenant with themselves and say you must be king not everybody is interested in helping you you can sit down loitering around begging give me a job and somebody has eight options eight options and he looks at you and says it's all right just go but when you understand this when that truth becomes your shield and buckler it does something it compels men to react to you in a certain way everyone say jesus the truth there are many of us here seated now with lies in our bodies satan has used objects in our bodies to lie to us there are medical reports that we are seated here with right now hiv cancer a killer disease somewhere there are ladies holding reports you will you don't even have a womb in the first place there's no possibility of a child there are men holding reports there's someone oh there's a report you are going to die soon you will not reach december but the bible says whose report will you believe the doctors are doing their best we have doctors here but it's their educated opinion jesus said i am the truth you go to school they teach you to believe certain things but when you come to the word he teaches you i am one minister of the gospel who believes in god when i read my bible i believe and i if i be lifted i will draw all men that's the truth so my job is to lift him up and then he will draw all men that's what he said that's what he said that when men say there is a casting down the truth about it is that you will say there is a lifting up so i expect a lifting up all the time because you see a true believer is a possessor tonight you have come here koinonia is a place where we tell you the truth and shortly the power of god will prove that truth to you that what you call a hopeless situation is only a relative statement when you come before him he can turn your wilderness into a fruitful ground hallelujah everybody say jesus the truth son of man what information do you know about these bones can they live again and he said lord i i honestly the reality of these bones now i don't know and he says look these bones can live i believe therefore prophesy he said i prophesied as i was commanded the truth is not just an information it's a force it's a force that compels things to look like god no matter what it is The truth is God's mindset. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. The truth is that they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. The truth remains true regardless of your experience or otherwise. You see, this is the thing about a believer. Your personal experience is too small to judge the validity of the word of God. If I die of sickness today, God is still a healer. Is that true? The information I'm sharing with you is very ego stinging because when you've tried everything you know to do, have you seen people say, I've done everything I know to do? Or I've done everything there is. No. You just did what you knew to do. But there can be another way. There can be another information. Someone can be trying to open a door. Simply because someone told him turn it once. And he tries, tries. And then another information comes in. Lift it up. Turn it two times. Just because of that little information. That person can stand there two hours. Wrestling with that door. Arise, shine. Your light is come And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you John 1 verse 5, the light shines in darkness Arise, shine, my 
light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. I will arise and shine. Arise. My light is come. And the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Give us Isaiah 60 verse 1. If we can get it in Amplified, that's wonderful. Otherwise, no problem. Amplified says this. It says, Arise from the depression and the prostration that situations and circumstances have kept you. It says, Rise to a new light. Arise. From the depression and circumstance and prostration in which circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new life then it says shine be radiant with the glory of god let me tell you something there is an information that when you catch you can start laughing at your challenges you will not even pray about it again it will turn to laughter because you know that that truth will squeeze it into pieces i tell you this hallelujah ah jehovah will be your everlasting light He'll be your glory, your strength, and your sight. The light of the moon will be like the light of the sun. And the light of the sun will shine seven times as bright. When Yahweh binds up the wounds of this world, heals all the bruises inflicted by this world. Truth. There are things I found in my life about ministry. There are things I found in my life about the anointing. When I found them, I jumped. Jumped. Bishop Oyedeko will tell you that light broke and he screamed and turned and said, Yeah, I will never be poor again. There are other people who have caught certain things and they screamed and said, I will never be a mediocre again. What have you found? I found your word and I did eat it. It was a joy and a rejoicing. He said, My son, eat thou honey. When you find this thing, they are life to those who find them, not to Christians. There is something you can find. Believe me, brothers and sisters, if you have not found it, you will think those who are talking are arrogant people. There are people who have found things. The Bible says the kingdom of God is like a man who had a treasure and it was missing. For as long as it was missing, that man was redundant and then he took light and then he started checking it. Are we together? Could it be that there is an information that you need to know about God about life about yourself it was gideon who was hiding because there was an information he did not know and all of a sudden the angel appears and says in case you do not know here is an information you are a mighty man of valor and gideon said nobody has told me this i am the least in my father's family and we are the least in the tribe and that man arose from that revelation I'm walking in power, walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. I'm walking in power, walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. Everybody sing, say. name of Jesus shout it say it again in the name of Jesus the days of ignorance are over in my life prophesy say the days of ignorance the days of lies the days of deception are over in my life lift your voice and pray in one minute Lord I entertain your light there is something you can know about you that will bring you into the anointing there is something your mother told you growing up. You are a failure. But hear the truth. Hear the truth. There is something Africa is speaking to you. That we are a third world nation. 
but in the name of Jesus I declare Shabrakoto Sodo Bakata Ende Karoto Subrakata I believe the truth I believe the truth no more lies in my life everything that is not consistent with the word of God I refuse to believe it why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal subject to change hallelujah please sit down so they may look at you and say sister you are getting to 40 no husband will you ever marry that's their information you see when you introduce jesus to the situation the calculation changes uh -uh. something that should be zero just because you introduce the reality everything changes the psalmist said i had fainted but god i had fainted i knew that i was over all. but god when they brought him into the situation it changed everything stop listening to lies there are lies on TV. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are lies that we hear on newspapers. Oh, stop tithing. All those men of God are out to collect your money. It's with your money they use to buy clothes. And they rob you and you listen to a lie. And stay back and authorize Satan to destroy you. Our society is full of lies. People make money through lies. Jesus the truth there were many things I didn't see many successful people in my life growing up those who were successful were very far from me culturally speaking societally speaking there was a mindset that was communicated but when I began to search the word goodness I found another report a report I was not born with and all of a sudden Jesus said verily verily I say unto you he that believeth on me you know today we took a stroll um, myself and the head of protocol after we went to greet a bereaved family we went somewhere and I was taking them inside the campus and I decided to take a tour of the new structures they are building and while I started passing some sites around the dam and down my eyes were almost I was trying to fight tears do you know why because I saw locations where years ago I sat down to study the truth I passed one place a botanical garden on your way to the dam I used to enter that corner and smuggle myself through somewhere and sit down broke but had access to the truth a failure and a mediocre but had access to the truth and this Bible God gave me an assurance with the word. If you believe me, I will not play games with you. And I was stupid enough to believe. I said, Lord, after all, by default, I don't even have much. So if I don't believe you, I don't have any option. Ah! Look what is made in my life. Listen, if you choose to believe the truth, he will change you. They've lied to you that your life is not doing well just because um, there, is, there, is, uh, there is something you are not, you know, you need to go and connect to this, you need to do that. I believe in favor, but favor is only when it comes from God through men, not from men. If you don't give 150,000 to so, so, so person in federal ministry of this, you will never get a job. That's how we do it. You are not part of the we and you find out and the bible says that when a man's ways pleases the lord that's the truth that he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him are we together listen the part of scripture you find and believe is the part that works for you yes. you can see two people operating on different dimensions of realities is the part you find I have found from this word listen and I don't want you to be offended by what I'm saying but I have found from this word 
that it is possible for a man to fulfill his days i found it i used to fear death i think it's one of the things we all fear because the teaching i got about death was that any day can meet you anytime and it looked like a very sincere talk until i searched i said god but how can i live my entire life being afraid i'm going to live a life traveling all the time right i'm in the air i'm on road in the morning in the afternoon there are armed robbers weather conditions what is the guarantee that i'm going i mean i can't live my life i'm going for a crusade somewhere and i'm afraid i want to go and heal the sick cast out demons but me the man of god that god will use you are now afraid whether you arrive safely as soon as you arrive your heart returns back and you are hey, thank you jesus what is torturous way of living but there is a truth ha ah. There is something you can hold and dear death you look at it in the face and say oh death where is thy sting now you see until you have caught that truth don't make mouth this is the problem we talk nonsense in church and say all kinds of things and become victims it is the encounter of the burning bush that qualifies you to stand before pharaoh when you have seen the burning bush you can stand before pharaoh and say hey pharaoh stop oppressing god's people because Pharaoh will not let you go just because you can speak English. Jesus, the truth. Let me tell you something. Life will dare you to your face. It will take the truth to build a world of fortification. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I believe the word of God. That's why we are gathered here tonight. This is called a miracle service. There is no guarantee anywhere that anybody will be healed. There is no guarantee anywhere that devils will be casted out. Let me tell you, without understanding the truth, any action you take is arrogance. You make a fool out of yourself. What is the guarantee that in the next few minutes, the Lord is going to step in and begin to produce miracles in the lives of people? Is the truth. As at morning, when they were fixing this place, what was the guarantee that people were going to come and all the seats will be filled? What was the guarantee that people will be following us from over 45 nations of the world is the truth there is an information you know the power of god that i believe you oh god and i'm ready to follow you will not lie to me i believe you you are not a man that you should lie not the son of man i don't doubt him i believe you my experiences notwithstanding i still believe you Number three, Jesus, the life. Hmm. A revelation of his power and his ability to make a life. Jesus, the life. John 11 verse 25 to 26. An event happened there, Lazarus was a man who had died three days and then Jesus said he sleepeth and they were going to go and resurrect him and when they went they saw his sisters crying now this was talking about physical death but it applies to every area watch this death does not just mean cessation of breathing it means cessation of life many of us are experiencing death in different areas of our lives when an organ fails that's death are we together the sons of the prophet were eating a meal and they looked and said ah there is death in this food and jesus said to her i am what what is resurrection bringing back to life something that is not supposed to have life again hallelujah that for me is the definition of hope 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 bringing back to life a dream that should not come alive again bringing back to life a destiny that should not come alive i live my life drinking and smoking is there hope for me jesus is called the resurrection i should have done well with my life but i'm 70 years now how many more years do i have when the resurrection comes he can bring back to life are we together i should have been a phd holder now but so 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 and so happened to me when the resurrection comes 
listen to me Jesus has the power to make things that are dead in our lives come alive this is good news are we together so the Bible says rejoice not over me my enemies you know my fall but you have forgotten that there is a mystery of resurrection rejoice not over me yes I know for now I do not have a job I lost my job yes I know that this and that may have happened in my life but there is Jesus the life he can put life back he can put life back let me show you something the Bible says very interesting well let's finish it I am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me although his kidney were dead he can come alive he that believeth on me although his finances were dead he can come alive do you know that hopelessness is is one of the major causes of depression in our society you know what hopelessness is a perception that there is no press to anything that is worth producing any result again and people just give up society is full of angry people who just walk around and say look there's no hope no hope for this child no hope for this no hope for me again no i'm already past menopause no child let me just agree that i will never have a child in my life listen to what the bible says job chapter 14 please give it to us seven to nine job chapter 14 read it with me please one to read for there is hope for a tree for there is hope for Joshua Selman. For there is hope for any life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? For there is hope in spite of that medical report. Humanly speaking, you should put your house in order. Ask Hezekiah. When a true prophet came and said, Hezekiah, I've heard from God. When a man hears from God, who else do you consult? But Hezekiah said, no way. I know this mystery there is resurrection there is life there is hope he turned his face and said God let's talk I know Isaiah is your prophet but I'm your child too let's talk remember now come on God don't act as if you ignore me like that and God said ah, 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 ah. he has compelled a dimension listen let me tell you tonight you have to insist for some things to come back to life don't go some of you don't even pray over some things again because in your mind you have concluded it's over that business will never come alive when do you just give glory to god it's over it has gone that destiny will never come alive but it's okay i already know that i would never walk again my leg can not walk so my focus now is to just succeed i am the resurrection and the life it says for there is hope for a tree if it be what cut down i like that word cut down not rooted out cut down means the root is still connected the mistake the enemy made was to still leave you loving god I, I i know you lost you lost joy you lost peace you made a mistake i know you now have a baby it should not be but the mistake was that you were cut down not rooted out and the bible says that it will what sprout again talk to me agriculturists that you know that you can cut a tree and children can even put satellite dish on the tree yet it still starts growing have you seen a tree that they use for pole wire it doesn't stop the tree from growing i hear the joy coming hey I hear the breakthrough coming I hear the sound coming Sound of abundance and joy I see the lifting coming yeah. Hold on Listen I tell you the, the, the anointing of God is strong upon me Sit down, sit down, sit down Give us that scripture again Give us that scripture because God wants to make a statement with this miracle service tonight. He says, for there is hope. Everybody say there is hope. Let the devil hear you. Let all the people who have sat down together in a meeting 
and say, will she ever rise? With this carryover, with 11 carryovers, will you ever rise? The Bible says, there is hope for a tree. There is hope for a tree. It says that it will sprout again and that the tender branch will not cease. We are reading to verse 9. Though the root thereof be wax old in the earth, and the stock thereof die in the ground, verse 9. Yet, Kabaratos Kebranda Katashiata. Hold on. It didn't say through the arrival of water, the scent, proximity to life. Proximity to life. The moment you come into a place where there is life, it has not touched you yet. Your roots resonating with life. Listen, listen. Those of you who have done physics, there's something they call resonance. Is that true? That when you use a tuning fork and hit at a frequency, every other object within that frequency answers to it. You were designed by the life-giving spirit. So when Satan tries to bring death, and then you are seated somewhere you come into an environment where there's life deep starts calling on to deep your dream starts telling you i'm ready to come back to life forget the fact that i failed rejoice not over me my enemy we live in a society who are experts at burying people before they die ah look at this mama nine children all useless and she's coming for koinonia and they say keep going mama tonight the resurrection and the life the resurrection and the life hear me how about a man of god you know god called you you know he anointed you but truly you have not seen increase not in your life oh god well will the anointing come or maybe you were once anointed and something happened in your life and things went down and listen it is true that jesus died but did he die forever he died only for three days while he had resurrected men were still talking about his death could it be hold on could it be that some of you while you are in this meeting now other people are talking about your past life they don't know resurrection is happening they are still sitting discussing yesterday so every time they look at her they say i know this lady oh this lady is the most nonsense lady in our environment you were right but ask rahab shabbatos kotapriata hmm. listen do you know why god instructed that they killed everybody in jericho he did not want anyone who knew rahab's past to be part of those who follow her because she would be part of the lineage of jesus listen when god wants to make nonsense of satan he will keep quiet and allow men finish tearing you down sometimes you can even join them and tear yourself and then when he's done he says let me now show you the expertise let me show you what makes me god and he starts building many people conclude on men because they don't know god this god we serve are we together i always use promises promise come 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 with all my heart you would have concluded this guy was a capon in black acts are we together years ago with dreadlocks he came to zaria with dreadlocks and earrings he was an occultist of the highest order a territorial commander he ran away because they were about to imprison him but brothers and sisters rejoice not over me my enemy no 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 help them under the anointing please you would have concluded that this brother will never become a because our big mouth in society we are experts at talking about people but while they were talking about saul god was seeing paul ah. apostle but i don't even know who my father is I'm not sure they told me that fair woman is my mother that's the kind of background i came from don't worry the god of israel is an expert look at his life now a fiery man of god with grace and power and anointing hallelujah 
they had concluded on Zacchaeus you are a thief you are a fraudster you are an armed robber and when God was going he had to climb the tree and God said come down Zacchaeus it's your house I'm going let me show you that I'm, I'm going to your house and at once Zacchaeus said I will repay everybody and Zacchaeus completely changed hear me I came to preach to someone tonight there is a dimension of Jesus called Jesus the life the life the life Jesus the life Jesus the life Jesus the life, Jesus, the life. That everything that has died in a man's life can come alive. Even time can come alive. That's the God that we serve. Hear me. You have come tonight, some of us from far. Some of us from several things. And you have come to encounter Jesus, the life. The life giving spirit. He can put life back to your finances. And the money you lost 10 years combined in one month can return to you. Listen, 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 please. Let's not make this thing look as if we are acting. We are talking about God here. Apostle, but this is 10 years. No child. And they told me that there are all kinds of cyst and growth in my stomach and then when the resurrection comes he all of a sudden first child triplets second child twins you say god stop he says stop what my name again that child one three two one registers his name the years that the canker worm has eaten hear me hear me mordecai Mordecai did something that was good and he was his testimony was archived in a book and dropped quietly you see ba there is a day God gets angry and vows by his name I have seen this truly speaking that God vows a vow read it through scripture that he wants to lift a man when God vows a vow to lift a man I tell you not even your personal faith will stop you there is such a thing that God can say the appointed time is come. I've seen people lifted overnight. And frankly speaking, sometimes they've not even understood certain principles. God just vowed with his name. Tonight, I want your faith to be, please, look, listen, you have come before God. This is not a cinema to watch film. You have come with your heart open. I want you to insist tonight. All these three dimensions are dimensions that for a taking. But I perceive that one of the greatest dimensions we need is life. There is too much death. There is too much death in people's life. Dead organs. Hold on. Listen. There are people here. They can't walk 10 minutes. A young man. 25, 35. You walk 10 minutes, you breathe as if you would die. They go to the hospital and say, Mr. Man, almost everything we see is wrong. You need life. Oh. You need life. There are many ladies here with all kinds of lumps, all kinds of demonic things. Satan attempting to put another life because there are many kinds of life. But when his life comes, when his life comes, there are destinies you look at them like walking corpses you know everything is there no favor no open doors there are many men here you are hard working but there is no life you are just a body walking sweating toiling the cause of hardship from morning till night living from hand to mouth the key is not promotion the key is life life To draw from you again. Hey, hey. To drink from you again. Hey, hey, hey. To drink from you again. Hey, hey, hey. We've come to the road. Yeah. Okay. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's a lot to do tonight. We're going to do it in this order. I'm going to take the altar call now. And then tonight we're going to start with the sick. I just sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing. Hallelujah. Now, quickly, let me have your attention. My God, the power of God is so strong, so strong. I already see activities of angels. You are in this place inside outside any of the overflows one two three four by the roadside i told you that the cure for the challenges of men is an encounter with jesus and there are people here some of you may be visiting for the first time but you know that you need jesus genuinely not just as a religious philosophy you truly need jesus christ some of you at one point you handed your life over to him but things went haywire and right now you know that you need to run like there's fire on the mountain overflow one overflow two i'm going to count one to five please clear the way for them i want you to run as though you are thirsty and they told you where water is leave your seat right now and run whether you are inside or outside i'll count one to five keep standing one koinonia celebrate them Two, are you running? Run to Jesus. 
Lord, I'm tired of my life. Tired of the way things have been. I can't pretend it. I'm running to you now. Three. Celebrate them. Are you running? Leave your seat. Break your pride and run. I need Jesus in my life. I need Jesus in my life. This is a, a matter of urgency. This is no pretense. This is no church. I need Jesus in my life. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. Run. No turning back. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. No turning back. One more time. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. seen three people in overflow three there and the holy spirit is telling me they are supposed to be part of these people overflow three please quickly there's so much to do there are three people i'm seeing in overflow three outside and the lord is telling me they should be there don't allow your friends stop you i'm still going to give one more minute one more minute as the holy spirit is convicting you you're saying i want to come but i'm a bit shy Run, make your way quickly. Come and join us. Come and join us. Hallelujah. Look at me. Please let them come and join. Those of you in front, please look at me. I salute you. This is serious business here. Please, there's, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Hold on. Hold on. Now, you see, when most people give their lives to Christ, they come in emotionally and some are not even serious they come laughing pinching themselves lord jesus and they are laughing and not serious this jesus business is life we're not talking about a certificate we're not talking about a husband or wife the bible says the name of the lord is a strong tower please hear me as you are here make sure that your decision is genuine no one condemns you but i want you to mean it Please, don't, don't play games with God. This is the God of heaven. I want you to say this from the depth of your heart. All of you in front here and those joining quickly. If you are joining them, make your way to the front. Say this passionately and truly. Say, Lord Jesus. Say it again, Lord Jesus. Some of you are not saying it. Say it one more time, Lord Jesus. I believe in you that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you shed your blood for my sin I believe that you resurrected for me this night I have heard your word and I declare that I need you in my life I hand over my life to you from now and forever I receive eternal life into my spirit I declare that from today I am a child of God Satan you had my confession stay away from my life forever in the name of Jesus let me pray for you now Jesus we present to you the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross, you saw them and they were worth your blood, your tears and your death. I ask, oh God, by the power of your spirit that you preserve them. Let this not be an emotional decision. I pray sincerely that today will become the beginning of a new season of your grace, your power, your mercy upon their lives. I declare your sins forgiven. 
I decree and declare that from today you walk in newness of life I set you free from everything that holds you down in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen I congratulate all of you for making this most noble decision never forget this day never forget this day hallelujah praise God now I will ask you to do something very quickly and then you come back and join the service I want you to follow who is waving his hands follow that gentleman waving his hands and they will lead you out and there are a number of people who will welcome you have your details please cooperate with them and uh, all the people attending to them let's make it fast so that they can return back please politely follow them they'll ask for your details cooperate with them everyone this way let's honor them as they go very quickly hallelujah can we help them let's make it fast now we're going to do it this way um I'm going to start praying for the sick right right away we're going to pray for the sick now so that we can take out time um, let's deal with the sick first I already sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing lady look at me the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands I command that devil let her go now you had her confession I curse you by the God of heaven I released you now I'm seeing this lady tied snakes from her leg to her head I set you free this is koinonia the place of encounter I decree and declare that from today you are set free and there's something I'm seeing in your stomach I decree and declare that it leaves you right now in the name of Jesus Christ now we're going to pray uh, there are certain cases I want to deal with by myself tonight um, any case please listen any case whether you are in any of the overflows please i will pray for people overflow one i want you to match to your overflow those who are trusting god you came here with for yourself or for your loved ones um but let's do it this way all those who are trusting god for the fruit of the womb if you have an issue with barrenness or a blood related disease hiv cancer or any deadly disease whether you are in the overflow outside or what please come in and i want to minister to you myself hallelujah that doesn't mean please listen listen it doesn't mean if i'm not the one ministering to you you will not be blessed the anointing on me is upon everyone who will be standing to minister to you are we together now so let's not have a rowdy um uh, crowd there so overflow one i like all of you who are trusting god to be prayed for Please, I want you to move to your projector stands, overflow two, um, overflow three. Those online connect by faith and um, we are going to be praying for you. Those inside, make your way very quickly. The special cases that I ask, make your way quickly, quickly, please. We have to be very fast. There's a lot to do. The reason why we take our time to minister to people like this is because God has anointed us for this reason. Hallelujah. God has anointed us. It's a privilege to carry his anointing and we must take our time to release blessings to God's people. Make your way quickly. Look how many people need the touch of God. What a joy and a blessing to have the anointing and the ability to touch people. Can we all pray as a family whilst they are coming and ask the Lord to touch and heal and bless everyone. Lift your voice and pray. Everyone, lift your voice. Lift your voice, pray. It's a miracle service. Please, those that are coming in from outside, make sure it's only blood related diseases, terminal diseases, terminal diseases. Otherwise, you can just wait at your projector stand and then they'll pray for you. Father, you have anointed. You have anointed us in this place you have anointed this house to be a tabernacle of miracles Lord you have produced untold testimonies is a privilege to be extensions of your hand again ministering to the needs of your people it is your desire that in every territory there must be a place where men and women can find the power of God at work and Lord thank you for making this such a place Tonight we pray that there will be abundance, abundance of your anointing. 
in the name of Jesus. Tonight is serious business. I really perceive that there is need to minister to people. We are going to have um, some of our leaders stationed in various places. Please, I want you to trust the anointing upon them as they come to minister. I'm going to just make contact with them. Um, there will at least be two two at different different points and then we're going to pray praise the lord we'll make it very very fast and trust god to minister to you please come um pastor femi Ejimi, pastor alpha west benga promise how many of you i think we need eight people i have to lay hands on you because i sense that we need we need a, a great one two three four five uh, michael come one of these days, we'll begin to train other people and help. The, the idea is to help and build people. Um, Mike, leave the keyboard. Um, someone else can play the keyboard. You can come. This is an opportunity. We're going to lay hands and then we're going to trust God. Um, Shade, will you be strong? Come. She's always had the healing anointing. Do you have the strength? Please come. This lady you see is a compendium of the healing power of God. And um, so we're going to pray. I think this is okay. We're going to pray. Please, those outside, if, if they don't ask you, uh, if they are prophesying to you, it's a different thing. If they are giving you a word of knowledge, it's all right. Otherwise, you don't have to start talking, talking, and doing all of this. Lord, we agree right now in Jesus' name. My God, there's such anointing on my hands. As they lay hands on the people, Lord, I decree and declare. Let your power flow in such dimension, in such magnitude, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the anointing of the Holy Spirit come upon you, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of God come upon you, in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that you will carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Um, Shade and Promise will go to the overflow outside here by the road. Shade and Promise, Benga. And um, Femi, this overflow, and then Mike and Pastor Alpha will be at the overflow, overflow three now. Um, Ejimi will be with me here. Pastor Alpha, um, huh? okay, two of you are there. Okay, fine. Who is left? Michael, okay, they join them outside this overflow here, and then we'll walk with Ejimi inside here. Praise the Lord. Lord, we decree and declare, let there be miracles right now. Let there be signs, let there be wonders. In the name of Jesus, let there be such a strong move of the Spirit. Let the sick be healed. While this is happening, please, um, I want you, if you need to make calls and ask your loved ones to submit their prayer requests, let's do that very quickly. We're trying to conserve time as well as maximize the grace that is available. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we we'll pray for you now. I want you to trust God for miracles. Trust God for miracles. Insist that God must give you a miracle. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit gentle touch is flowing Jesus now, in the name of Jesus Christ I believe Jesus there is healing in your name as we worship as we worship in your presence there is healing the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, gentle time is flowing. It's flowing. Jesus, Jesus, I believe. I believe. Jesus, Jesus, there is healing in your name. There is healing in your name. As we worship, as we worship. Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, gentle, gentle touch, touch is flowing. Jesus, 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 I believe. I believe. Jesus, Jesus, there is healing in Your name. There is healing in Your. Right. 
That are responsible for the sufferings you see this dear lady this lady came all the way from lagos had to resign her job to come here because she was tired of what was happening in her life it's not just about employment came here this lady came i think it was last week all the way because she was nothing at all she was employed but oppression after oppression There's somebody in the congregation I'm, I'm seeing like uh, the Lord is opening my eyes this is strange and I don't know what it is that I'm seeing that has to do with elephants I'm seeing an elephant and I'm seeing like fire coming this is a deliverance for someone in the congregation now as I'm talking um, I'm praying for the sick but we're going to minister to other needs but right now the Lord is asking me to minister to such a person so I'm declaring right now that every manipulation of spirits that resonates with what the Lord showed me right now from here I decree and declare there is no peace for the wicked I command judgment right now in the name of Jesus Christ on such a person wherever you are in this congregation I decree and declare right now that the power of God touches you right where you are right where you are right where you are in the name of Jesus right where you are right where you are in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone at the minister's stand the minister's stand I'm seeing something like an arrow shooting out of your body Lord in the name of Jesus whoever that person is it must go now I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit every strange devil every strange spirit we decree and declare that this environment is completely not conducive completely not conducive in the name of Jesus I want you to look at this look at look at what look at what the devil can do this is a human being's face mama come madam is this her mother mommy come how long has this been this is one year now year plus, year. Year plus yes her face just started swelling started bleeding from the nose and before you know it's her, one of her this her eyes I out. prayed for her the last time yes you see it going down yes I see it you going see it from down. the last time yes. who was there when you saw yes. the last time it's going down you see it going down now yes. I prophesy that in the name of Jesus Christ right now that the way this thing has started going down it must go down normally and then mama any human agent that is responsible for this thing happening are we together if i am a man of god that person must die this night <laughs> hallelujah because i'm looking at you hold on i'm looking at you and i'm seeing the face of a woman and i'm seeing a woman sitting on the ground on ground like enchantment i say it again 
whoever is responsible for terminating attempting to terminate the destiny of this lady by the god of heaven may the ground open and swallow her now god bless you see let me tell you something brothers and sisters wickedness is very very real very real very very real very very real i want you to lift your voice in one minute and say father judgment tonight pray lift your voice shabakato soto bakata lembre kete kata tata tata keriata everything that must give way for the next level of my destiny to be open i command it so now by the power of the holy ghost pray inside pray outside pray by the anointing of the holy ghost pray shaka toko 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 kes rekete kete kata bada 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 bas mata kato sheprekete lente preketa basha bada 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 are you praying? Make sure you are praying. Let her go now. Out! 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 I see the rain of your love I feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear I see the rain of your love I feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear So let it let it rain. Open the floor gates of heaven. Hallelujah. We are really going to pray seriously right now. Um, I've been seeing a lot of visions while praying for the sick. Hallelujah. There are, there are many, many demons that must go. Many, not few, many. Oppressed, all kinds of um, strange, strange demons. Bring this girl. Come. Bring her. I'm seeing a spirit. Bring her. Let her go now. Out. Victory belongs to Jesus. Listen, hear me. Now, we are going to pray serious. That's why I took out time to maximize the healing anointing because um, we want to finish fast. We have leaders meeting. However, um, now that we have dropped this, please just focus. You have prayed now. Let me minister to you. Praise God. Stand up, please, everybody. We have to pray. These are the wicked spirits that are responsible for families families tonight i see an uprooting i tell you listen i want you to stand because i'm seeing people running out now by the spirit not like wanting to run away the spirit running with them that's why i'm saying i'm i'm asking the people to stand we're going to pray please listen i want you to believe the forces that tie your life tie your destiny it's time for us to pray it's time for us to agree are we together i want you to cooperate with me and let's pray they are strange spirits you will bring them out some don't be embarrassed this this has to do with families this has to do with individuals are we together now are we together yes we are going to pray i'm seeing like a ghana must go and i'm seeing it tied in the spirit whose destiny is that oh god it's time to be loose now bring them out Please, I need strings, strings of a flowing sound, please. Bring them out. Shake it, take it up. Bracatoso Toba Shata. 
at his word every demon every devil there's no hiding place for any power of darkness i decree and i declare in the name of jesus hallelujah please hold your hands together i want to pray a prayer you are going to help your neighbor now something strange is going to happen to people i want to pray because i'm seeing like fire passing from people to people this this contact must be maximum lord i pray anyone who is a victim of any oppression as this fire passes now in the name of jesus once you see your neighbor manifesting please let them come in the name of jesus i release that fire right now from road to road from people to people from road to road inside outside i command every stranger every stranger every stranger in the name of jesus every stranger outside overflow one overflow two overflow three online i cost that devil right now that fire is burning that fire is burning every principality every power outside mighty deliverances outside from road to road the power of god is setting people free it's time for yokes of captivity to give way it's time for age long captivities to give way hallelujah everyone say after me in the name of jesus just do what i'm telling you to do say in the name of jesus every yoke of delay over my life over my family be judged now now watch what happens to you i decree and declare anyone with such yoke i command judgment now judgment now now on those forces let them go now let them go now let them go now please lift your hands tonight i trust god for an extensive time of deliverance listen the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing snakes this is what i'm seeing coming out from holes anyone here tied by any spirit they come to you in the night to sleep with you fire at the count of three one two three right now visitors of the night strangers of men's destinies i judge you by the god of heaven inside and outside I judge you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Please put your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray a very serious prayer right now. Sisters, lift your hands. If there is anyone here having any spirit molest you in dreams appearing as men appearing as women appearing as animals at the count of three as you shout Jesus Jesus the life is destroying any dead are you ready one two three I command those devils those strangers Strangers, powers of witchcraft, molesting people, the daughters of Zion, I curse you, I curse your covenant.
Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome Say, Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome Hallelujah I saw what I'm seeing now in much miracle service and the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands I'm seeing padlocks that's what I'm seeing this is representing men's destinies nothing is happening in your life you are not lazy but doors have refused to open right now at the count of three I want everyone to shout Jesus as loud as you can some of you will literally be caught up in visions and you will see the doors of your destinies open Right now, oh God, I declare that every padlock over any man's destiny, over any man's life, at the count of three, they are open. One, two, three. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to take away the spirit of death over families. Listen. You may not even know, but I want you to believe. I want to pray for you. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. I'm speaking now. Death is a spirit. Oh, death, where is your sting? Right now. I'm seeing at least 47. I'm seeing the number 47. Every family with death hanging over them. Fire! 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 Upon every family. Fire! Fire! The spirit of death broken. Hallelujah. Can I pass through the crowd for a moment? I want God to do a quick walk. Please listen. I don't do these things out of religion. It is the presence of God. The presence of God. I don't have time and there's no opportunity to lay hands on anyone. But listen. I just come across your role. I just want you to believe. Listen, except it is not the spirit of God, but any other strange spirit aside from God, regardless of what it is and what is causing in your life, it must give way right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, just play me. Father, in the name of Jesus. Listen, please, I want you to believe. This is not about human washing. But as I pass your road, I'm seeing fire on my left and right. Tonight is the ministry of fire. And like a wildfire, it will pass you and begin to consume things. Some of you as I pass that physical fire, that heat, Lord, let it be right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rakoto shoprekete baratokosia. Rakato toto ketata. Rakato shabariakata. Take it here. That fire, fire. Judging everything. Judging every evil. From every row, row to row. Row to row, row to row. That fire right now. Every witchcraft, every power. Every witchcraft, every power. Tying anyone. Someone's womb is being loose now. Someone's womb is being loose. Someone's womb is being loose. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I go out? Is it, is it possible? Those outside, lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray.
Hallelujah. Please, quickly, we're out of time. We have to conserve time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, all of you right here, through this place, I'm looking and I'm seeing change in the spirit. And as I pass this overflow, please, I want you to believe that every captivity must come to end. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It must come to end. Father, I give you all the praise right now. Right now. A chain is leaving somebody here. A chain, a chain, a chain, a chain. Go, go, go. Now, 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 now. Chains, 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 chains. I break it now. Break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. In the name of Jesus. You don't have to touch me. Just be. There's somebody here. The yoke of delay is breaking now, 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 now. It's breaking now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breaking now, break now, breaking now, breaking now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Breaking now. Breaking now. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a cloud on this place. I release that fire. It's breaking now. Right, right, right now, right now. In the name of Jesus. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Help them, help them. Please hold them. Elisha, 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 who is that, Elisha, where are you coming from, maybe you, sir. maybe you, maybe you here, yes. I want to pray for you, the Lord wants to give you and your family breakthrough, yes. Elisha, I wish we had time, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm declaring. What's your name? My daddy's name is Elisha. Your daddy's name is Elisha. That's all right. I'll pray for you. Why are you here? You are Elisha. Look at me. I want you to believe in the prayer. I'm going to pray for you. God is going to give you strength in your peace. Amen. I'm seeing like a shrine on fire. Hold on. I'm seeing like a shrine on fire. And that fire in that shrine will manifest physically over somebody's life. It's time for this family to be set free. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. It's time to be set free. It's time to be set free. Elisha, I pray for you. Now hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare something is leaving you now. As I'm holding your hands, I'm seeing something leaving you. Let it go for you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your dad needs breakthrough. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. Please, if we can get some of the people outside, make sure everyone is protected under the canopy. Otherwise, let's see how we can squeeze some of them inside. Even if it's just for the sake of um, when the rain minimizes, they can go out. Please, make sure nobody is standing in the rain. Those standing at the edges of the canopies, we can allow them to come in. Just come and squeeze them somewhere, please. 
Make sure, no, especially women with children. Please. Please, make sure that we allow them. Please. They can come. Just stand anywhere. The goal is us. Please. Just give them room. Just orderly. They can come in and stand anywhere. Recurrent issues. The Lord is addressing them now. Our time is gone, but I'm praying. Recurrent issues. The power of God is going to fall on people now. I don't know how those outside will do, but I pray for grace for them. But I'm seeing a grace to destroy recurrent issues. Issues that come, you solve them and they come back again. Where are those people? I stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus. That fire is visiting them now. Recurrent issues. The Lord is setting people free right now. Recurrent issues. Please help this, this woman. Recurrent issues. That devil is going right now. In the name of Jesus. Recurrent issues. Recurrent issues. Never again. In the name of Jesus. Never again. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Please, I know it's raining, but participate. God is touching people. I'm seeing it again. Recurrent issues. Issues that come and you think you are done with. And they return back. I decree and declare that fire is coming now. That fire is coming now. Recurrent issues in the name of Jesus. Be set free right now. Be set free right now. Be set free right now. Hallelujah. Toy. Toy. What's your name? My son is still. Toy. I will pray for you. I'm seeing serious witchcraft in this lady's family this is this is heavy satanic oppression huh? heavy satanic oppression all of you are toying what's your name my auntie Who? my auntie's name is toying i will pray for you please make sure you are toying don't come out carelessly but hold my hands I will pray for you. I will use you as a point of contact to pray for your family. Hold my hands with both of your hands. Your family must be free from witchcraft. Lord Jesus. Ah. Fire. Fire. On every altar. Fire. On every altar of witchcraft. I command. I use as a point of contact. And pray for every family under the yoke of darkness under the yoke of bondage i command your emancipation now i command your emancipation every family under the yoke of darkness Are you toying? Huh? You have bad luck. Bad luck on your life. Very bad luck. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Lord Jesus, this is a miracle service. Set this lady free. This yoke of bad luck. I decree and declare that it must leave you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It must leave you right now. Your sister. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. The same way God is touching her, may God touch you too. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, you are doing? My auntie. Where is she? What is this for? This is my family. My mom left my dad some couple of years ago and became a Hold the photo. 
you believe that when I pray for you God will touch them Lord visit this family right now in the name of Jesus I release the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus through you let it touch your family please don't come out carelessly don't come out why why is she out why are you out my dear huh my sister is doing okay I will lay my hands on you be free of your mother your mother something is leaving your mother in the name of Jesus I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus Kai what is this look at I'm seeing a snake this is what I'm seeing I'm seeing a snake I'm seeing a snake I'm seeing a snake please just thank God it's raining if you are inside don't complain those outside are enduring the rain just keep quiet and allow God to visit you snakes I saw a snake from this lady and I'm still seeing snakes around there's no hiding place for darkness rakato shoto prekete kata i'm seeing snakes lord let there be deliverances let there be deliverances in the name of jesus inside and outside let there be deliverances in the name of jesus let there be deliverances let there be deliverances by the power of the holy ghost this lady come this one with the no. God is going to use you mightily. Lift your hands. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a, a lady that God is going to use mightily. That doesn't mean after service you come and start disturbing her. God is going to use you. Father, let that grace, that fire, this lady is going to be mightily used of God. I decree and declare, I don't know you, but I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you must be free. I declare, don't worry, deliver. In the name of Jesus Christ, every access given to you by darkness, I close it now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I close it now. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I close it right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I close it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I release that fire and that power. There is no hiding for any darkness. Release every breakthrough. Release every destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. I'm hearing Maimuna. 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 I don't know if he's here or outside or someone. Your love. Maimuna. Huh? Is what? Your step. Okay. Maimuna. I'm seeing something else. I will pray for you. Memuna. The Lord is showing me something else. Your name is Memuna. My younger sister. My youngest. Okay. I lay my hands on you. Look at me. You are not progressing. Hold my hands. The Lord wants to move you forward. This is not even in the name of Jesus. I release you to move forward right now. I command that you move forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord gives you visitations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Ah, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. I lose you to prosper and I lose your family to prosper. You came out to stand for someone, but you are the one God is giving the visitation. I decree and declare it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. You won't believe what I'm about to pray for. I'm seeing written in the air, forgetfulness. There is a strange spirit that comes upon men and causes them to forget things. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are here, whether it is memory loss or strange forgetfulness, the things you should do, you forget them and you pay the price. 
wherever you are I release you from it right now I release you from it right now I release you right to the back outside all the overflows anyone who has that manifestation in their lives I release them right now in the name of Jesus Christ I release them right now I release them right now I release them from it right now in the name of Jesus Christ I release them right now why is he here why are you here sir uh, my cousin is what my cousin we are here last week but he didn't come today your what my cousin Tony, Tony. okay in the name of Jesus Christ may God touch them whatever their issues I declare that God will resolve it right now in Jesus name I'm seeing somebody I need to pray for physical money disappears sometimes from your pocket sometimes from your bag I'm not talking of stealing listen to what I'm saying don't just come out carelessly Physic money you can hold money like this and count it and see that it is less it has disappeared who is that I need to pray for you it's a very serious issue yeah na 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 you hallelujah Kai, the Lord is showing me something very serious there's somebody um, don't be embarrassed you woke up physically in the middle of the night and now I'm not saying you idolize animals but there was a rat a physical rat not running around you were looking at it it was looking at you like this there's someone like that here rat it was looking at you you were wave your hands let me know you are the one I'm talking to come out come and stand here I'm not saying if you have rats in your rooms that's not what I'm this this is a special unique demonic case come Kai. this lady I have to pray for you favor zero breakthrough zero trouble hundred percent father in the name of Jesus, change this face I'm seeing. Jakatos koprakato zakato liakata bakanda pratisia. Lekos kapranda gada suze preketekatos. In the name of Jesus, zekata tata suzia. Mante pros kata prande kato liakata. Jakas kende kos. Akras kate zeketons kamatan zekata. Reketo sekete kete kata bakata. Mam prato soto perekete riakata. Sasesesesekata, ma proto soto topaka, embriata sada siata, shakel kata maskata bariakato, embre kete 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 kete, rekos kososo pekete de kata, me priata sise kotosho pariakata. Break the chains, break the chains, break the chains, break the chains in the name of Jesus. hallelujah there is somebody your grandmother appears to you your grandmother appears to you where is that person come don't be but this is a serious issue our time is gone but thank God is raining we are going to round up your grandmother you see your grandmother she appears who is that wave your hands come and stand here it's a very demonic thing your grandmother appears to you come and stand grandmother appears to you who is that wave your hands let me know you are here all of you that see your grandmother come and stand here we have to break you from that demonic thing what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness this Lagos lady God is on your case because you need to be thoroughly thoroughly delivered there is a spirit that is oppressing you and there's no hiding place you hallucinate this lady literally sees things she can be here physically it's, you know what they call astral travel she can live not vision live physically this lady I command that wicked spirit in the name of Jesus and whatever she sees about you except you are powerful it must happen it's a spirit she doesn't even know why in the name of Jesus I'm looking at her and I'm seeing a cat I curse you by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ please don't be tired i know our time is gone but it's raining let, let let's just visit these things because come 
you are a beautiful girl but no favor in your life shift let me talk to this this yellow girl come run god wants to wipe your tears ah i'm looking at you and i'm seeing something like a crown on your head come you must be delivered thoroughly father in the name of jesus christ let this cause of this favor this is a beautiful girl but there's no favor in her life Shato soto bakata randa koto soto kete barakata i decree and declare every legal access of darkness i cause it right now i cause it right now i open the doors i open the doors from the realm of the spirit let there be favor over your life in jesus name hold on sir i need to pray for you this encounters supposed encounters has retrogressed your life i hear what i'm saying i have to pray for you because you are not supposed to be at this level right now you too you see your grandmother where are you from Calabar. no obudu obudu cross river obudu cross river i have to pray for you please if i if i didn't call why are you here are you sure you know why you are here huh you see your grandmother Kai. there's somebody here hold on all of you see your grandmothers don't laugh you see let me tell you this is not some it's not mockery it's not i'm not saying every vision of grandmother is demonic please don't get me wrong these are very special strange wicked and demonic issues special strange wicked and demonic issues someone has fallen down there please let the doctors attend to the person make sure you are your brother's keeper so that they don't fall down and injure themselves hallelujah praise the lord hi you come what business do you have to do with dead people dead people eh? hold my hands say in jesus name say it seriously in jesus name every affiliation with the dead i curse it now i release an anointing upon you now everything you have to do with dead people in jesus name do you love jesus you love jesus huh mm -mm. you are not serious with jesus hold my hands how are you don't be embarrassed but um the first thing you need is your relationship i'm looking at you i can't i don't want to embarrass you but you need jesus seriously i love you eh that's why i'm helping you I love you with all my heart. Go and meet the who? Um, where's Pastor Alpha? Just meet him. He will talk with you. You need counseling. He's, your own is not just grandmother. God just brought you out here to. In your destiny is needed. Please go and see. He will talk to you. Now, all of you who are having these issues, I'm going to lay my hands on you now. When I lay my hands on you, I want you to believe. There is this strange Kai. I'm seeing somebody, someone appears to you in the night. And when he appears to you, please don't come out at random. As soon as he appears to you, your spirit literally starts leaving your body. Literally, as in you feel yourself, you will come out and you will see you again lying down on the bed. There's somebody with that case, that situation right now. I have to pray for that person right now. I have to pray for that person right now something comes pulls your spirit out like it's going i will lay my hands on you all of you are so many father every affiliation with darkness i'm going to lay my hands on all of you very fast sir i'm i'm looking at you and i'm seeing the spirit of poverty and lack serious poverty yes sir eh? yes sir nothing works yes, your sir. life is like a basket anything that enters goes out i'm not embarrassing you eh? you are saying it money works. leaves your hand even if they give you one million it must find a way of going yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, but money does not stay yes sir is that true yes sir do you tight yes sir. you are not consistent one two um you see this consistency of tightening is one way to drive the devourer god is not a magician you have to be consistent Praise God. God blesses you ten times. You tight once. Your heavens are completely closed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now and I command breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Let me lay my hands quickly now. You're the God of miracles. Amazing God. You're the God of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. 
that go now and cause that spirit to you. over your life now we're going to be very fast five minutes and we're out of this place please i want you to believe every prayer that is coming now every prayer come every prayer the lord is taking you to a new dimension in the name of jesus christ a new dimension a new level cameraman god is wiping your tears Keep the camera first, wiping your tears in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears. This lady, I'm praying God is visiting her family. That lady standing close to Ella. I'm seeing a vision that the Lord is going to show her a breakthrough. I'm commanding right now in the name of Jesus, everything tying down your families, particularly. The Lord is asking me to release the family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Now I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy. Those outside, please follow me. Those online, follow me. Our time is gone, but let's just be patient. Two, three minutes, we're out of here. I decree and declare from tonight, move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Make progress 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 in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Multiply in the name of Jesus anyone here who has lost anything in your life i declare i'm seeing 28 in 28 days 28 days from now i command that it comes back to your hands i command that it comes back to your hand i command that it comes back to your hand anyone here who has been victimized by life by circumstances by men i decree and declare May the God I serve vindicate you right now. 
everyone here in need of direction you are praying oh god i need to know what step do i take in the name of jesus tonight strange encounters that bring you direction strange encounters that bring you direction the yoke of poverty and hardship and lack i command it to live your life now i command it to live your life now live your family now live your destiny now i pray for every family represented here whatever you are trusting god for as a family i release my faith with you and i decree and declare that it is turned into your testimony now the kind of favor you have not seen from january till now i decree and declare from tonight not tomorrow from tonight let it start working in your life strange favor in your life strange favor in your life God has placed his honor upon this ministry I pray for you from today anywhere you go whether they know you or not I command them to honor you believe it I command honor upon your life in the name of Jesus two more prayer points and we are done whatever has made your pace of your life slow some of you are moving forward but you are too slow for your destiny at the rate you are going you will not do much in your lifetime I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus receive the grace for speed receive the grace for speed do in one month what you have not done in five years in the name of Jesus Christ and finally I pray for you whatever has taken advantage of your spiritual life your prayer life your fasting life word life passion for God passion for the house of God right now I stretch my hands and I declare fresh fire on your altar prayer fire on your altar word fire on your altar fasting fire on your altar I decree and declare upon everyone receive a manifestation of the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus let me add one last prayer point judgment upon the wicked let it begin tonight some of you don't like the prayer I say it again judgment upon the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ that every man woman boy and girl that partners with darkness to frustrate your destiny may the God of vengeance arise in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus father we give you all the praise we give you all the glory Thank you. dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, Grant me the discipline.